All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to a brand new uh, Breath of the Wild challenge run. This is the soldier only run. So, um, as you know, the Hylian military perished in the calamity, but a hundred years later, one soldier woke up. And is it possible for the soldier to personally climb the ranks by helping everyone in Hyrule, and eventually will take down the calamity? So, the rules are pretty straightforward. Um, only soldier gear and the soldier weapons. But it's going to consist of three main objectives. It's going to be um, helping all 21 traveler packs around the world. So just the loose travelers that are being sworn by goblins and such. Second objective is to max out our armor. And third is to get a horse with the appropriate knight armor. And after these things are done, we will advance to the knight's run, where there's going to be two objectives, which is clearing off the citadel, which is, well, it was the last bastion of the Hylian military, and then the finale. So... It's kind of like a, just a run of miscellaneous things that, well, a soldier would do in a normally functioning Hyrule. And uh, if you want to repeat on that, it's in the objective panel down below. So you can find it by scrolling down or looking at the about section. Uh, it's all going to be there. So that is going to be the gist of this run. And it's going to be pretty fun because we can start off with it right away, even stuff in the plateau to do. So welcome, everyone. Hopefully you're having a great uh, Saturday here. And... I'm really excited for this. This is something I've been really hyped for. Uh, no Divine Beasts in this run. This run is going to avoid them because it's more about helping out the world itself. There's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, Traveler saving, uh, Lionel killing, Hinox killing. So, you know, it'll be really well suited to the night lifestyle. Yeah, welcome everyone. Um, thank you Silver Scale for the Tier 1 sub. Thank you Marshall for the resub. Um... <laughs> Thank you, Mike C. Duke, for the gifted sub. Sorry, there's a lot to look through right away. Thank you, Orca, for the 100 bits. Hype team before the train, <laughs> before the stream even started. Wow, thank you, guys. Level 2 hype train, sorry. As I'm just introing, just uh, so much going on. Thank you, Hazel, for the tier 1 sub. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. One second. I have a thing. Uh, thank you, Starling Catcher, for the 100 bits. Um... <laughs> Okay, did I miss anything? I, I have like a mini feed so I can look through just to make sure. I don't think I did. Uh, good, good, yes. Okay. Thank you, Hazel. Uh, yes, okay, awesome, sorry. It's like the fans of Ganon run, but less evil. True, yes. <laughs> so it will be like a Sanctum Rush at the end, which is why I am uh, excited. I already have one death? Yeah, wait a second. <laughs> No, I don't have a death. How did that get there? I think it was when I was adding the counts. I thank you for catching that. That would have really sucked, you know. Uh, thank, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, sorry. Just as people are tuning in. Okay, so we will overwrite the last run we did, which was what was it actually? The bone run. Because uh, surprisingly, yeah, that was the last one we recorded. It, it's been a long time since we recorded a run. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I know the last one we got up with it was the uh, Amiibo version 2, but we actually recorded that one like the end of last summer, so <laughs> it just took a while for that to be a video. Thank you, Mike C. Duke, for another gifted sub. <laughs> it died in the menu. Well, I guess that one death is for, uh, you know, the military that perished. He just had to pour one out for the military. Uh, <laughs> Because now we're the last soldier left, so what can you do? It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad at game, one death in the main screen. Not even a chance, you know? Well, the Zelda Cup, thank you. You know, this is soldier run, this is my mead. Must stay hydrated. And vigilant. <laughs> Okay. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, AJ. Open your eyes. Well, will I post this on YouTube? Hopefully soon. I know sometimes it takes me a while to edit the challenge runs. Uh, don't want it to be the case with this because, I mean, not like we have too much time left before the new game anyways. So there's definitely a lot of content I want to do before then. Uh, also, yeah, the next video will be a stats video. I've been working on it a lot this week. Um, originally, I wanted to get it up like on Friday, but I was actually sick, like, all week. Like, today's, like, well, today and yesterday, like, the first days, I'm actually feeling better. Uh, 
But no, that stats video will come soon, and then after that, we'll edit this one to a video, so. Thank you, Starling Catcher, for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> the cup reminds you that you want coffee. <laughs> nice. Yeah, thank you guys for the resubs. means a lot. Yeah, thank you for being here, honestly. It'll be a very fun time. <laughs> Okay. Well, here we are. Usually in the plateau, there's not too much to do. But actually this time, um, there was a lot of remnants of the military with uh, seven of the soldier weapons just on the plateau. Yeah. So we're going to have to nab those, and they'll be all very good for getting a nice head start. And on top of that, uh, we will need a lot of monster parts because upgrading the soldier armor requires lots of loose monster parts. So we'll get weapons to kill monsters, monsters for parts, parts for the armor, and it'll all kind of feed into itself. And, uh, you know, <laughs> we have to be a resourceful last survivor. Okay. None of the old stuff. Never. <laughs> Thank you, Gen X here for the the tier one sub. Nine months. Nice. Congrats on all my hard earned success. Well deserved. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> these runs have been a blast, so man, it's even though it's only been a few months since the last one, it's uh it's always an awesome feeling. I forgot to turn my speaker on. I've played the sequence so much, I just, like, internalized all the sounds. I couldn't hear any of that until now. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Sorry, it was dusty in there. Uh, it's all open now. We're good. Yeah, if you guys want to see the rules of the run, it's in the objective panel, as Orca says. Uh, yeah, it'll be on my name. Go to the about section and scroll. So it's a bit harder to read the panels if you're on mobile. So you have to go to like the about section. If you're on PC, you just scroll down. Just to recap, yeah, there's three main objectives. Helping the 21 traveler packs in the world. Um, getting the soldier armor and maxing it out. And then getting a horse with the knight armor itself. And that'll be phase one of the run. Phase two is clearing out the Citadel and the finale with night weapons. So, but here we are. Yeah, we got this whole kingdom to protect over now. But luckily the plateau has, well, the seven soldier weapons on it that will help us get a good start. So, we'll really need those. It actually makes the plateau viable to do something. Because usually in runs, we just have to kind of skim over it, so. And the first one's just over there, actually. Okay. Which I want to charge her first. How can we do this well? Boop. Boop. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. So loose stuff. Um, my first goal here is going to be actually, um, well, getting a soldier bow. Because there is one pretty close by. And that'll help for uh, just clearing out some of the enemies we need to right now. Not that we need to kill things in the plateau, but uh, having things like bokoblin parts or like choo-choo jellies and stuff. Like it's all good for, uh, well, eventually maxing out the armor. There we go. Nice. Okay. And I always take the stuff here because it's like the only attack stuff you can get on the plateau. Not that we need it right now, but uh, it's it's right there. <laughs> it's like some of the first materials you can get in the game. So might as well. And apples. Okay. And yeah, Quinn Bobin, yeah, he's really cool. Um, and we've only talked loosely a couple times before, like on Twitter and YouTube, but uh, He's a nice guy. 
And honestly, an awesome member of the community. I haven't seen too many of his videos, but the ones that I have seen are really fun. Okay. So Quarks will be helpful because, uh, you know, with this stuff, like, soldier stuff isn't the strongest. But, you know, it's still helpful to have more when we can. So slots will be nice. Yeah, our first goal is going to be that uh, soldier ball that's actually on the Temple of Time. Usually we go there... Um, just one getting the paraglider, but getting it early will be helpful for getting the other weapons. So, I'm going to say it's a good call just to start with it. There we go. <laughs> Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> okay. You master mode like always. I don't even, like, really clarify that anymore. It's just like, yeah, I'm playing master mode. In fact, I only clarify if it's normal mode. Whoop. Okay. Not talking to one foul creature. I'm feeling better. I am. Thank you. I, uh... I feel fine. Like, I just have, like, the last bits of, like, congestion, like, r running its course, kind of. But that's that can be lingering for a while. I'm not sure if I sound that way or whatever. <laughs> I'm really just playing it risky, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I know how to maneuver these guys. They don't call me a survivor for nothing. <laughs> Whoop. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh! Yeah, really? <laughs> We're well trained already. We just need to climb those ranks a bit. Yeah, wait, no, not like that. <laughs> We're already past that tier. No rock throwing. Oh, ah, a little rock's fine. Go! <laughs> That's fine, a few arrows is nice. No, it's not counterproductive going here first because this bow is helpful. First time watching streams and you're usually on YouTube? Well, welcome. Yeah, to everyone here, I see. Well, I saw a lot of first time chatters, so hopefully have a fun time. Uh, this run should be today and tomorrow, I think. Okay. So, yeah, usually we get the paraglider up here, but it is helpful to go here now because our first weapon. Boom, this will help us out a lot. Bow designed for armed conflict inflicts more damage than a civilian bow. Yeah, we're we're way above that already. Burn if touched as fire. Okay. The 14 damage is pretty good for the plateau. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, I'm a little disorientated from that 100-year uh, slumber still. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay. We needed, we needed another good fall to just kind of wake us up a bit. <laughs> Oops. Um, I didn't have a good excuse for that one. Ah! <laughs> uh, Eh, that's not as bad. Okay. Gets the legs nice and working. No broken bones. Awesome. Ah, okay. <laughs> Me wondering what I'm doing. Always, yeah. Okay. Then, safe. Remember, we can fall ten links high and still be safe. That is the measurement that we figured out. So, like, this should be fine. Not, yeah, perfect. Okay. Blue buckles are a problem. That's not a problem. That's nice. Okay. Um, yeah, so now we can do the, the rod as usual. It's basically just going to be like the normal plateau with picking up just stray weapons. Because there's six more. 
And they're just kind of all in the way. So we'll get them in time. No worries to that. Hey, look, they're eating their meat. Nice snack. <laughs> I love their eating animations. Okay. Let them do their thing. Okay. These are the guys I want. So, now that we have a bow, we can already show these guys who's boss. Two clean hits. <laughs> the soldier's trained in all the arts. And, uh... Well, these parts will be good. Because we'll need them for upgrading the soldier sets. <laughs> we need parts of all different kinds of monsters. They're like our trophies in battle that we use to upgrade our gear later. But it's really easy these uh, arrows I was after. Just in the field. <laughs> Usually those guys drop arrows, but uh, it's only a chance. Oh, hello, guy. Want to shield it? Wait for that opening. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> there it was. And this guy drops the arrows. He wasn't even an archer. <laughs> he was hoarding their arrows. Pesky boar. Okay. I think that's pretty good. 19. Good start. Okay. Let's do the tower cutscenes, and uh, there'll be one more weapon we can grab before going to Magnesis. I'm allowed to pick up the, the Master Mode Claymore. Isn't that a Knight's Claymore, though? So... Not yet. The knights claim knight stuff will come in the second half of the run, where we get uh, knight's gear to clear out the Akal Citadel in the finale. But first, we have to help out the 21 travelers, max out the knight's armor, and get the knight's horse armor. So, Knights bolts are early um, on the Temple of Time, and there's another one too, so... I believe there's going to be like four knight swords, a shield, and two bows, I think, on the plateau. I just remember there's seven. Uh, but yeah, well, we shall see. <laughs> How long will I stream? I don't know. We just kind of go for it. <laughs> Here, let's skip these cutscenes. What's the most cool but unknown place in Breath of the Wild? Um, ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, that's going to stump me. Uh, favorite location in the game, I... That's something I might have to come back to. I thought I had it, and then I don't. Yeah. <laughs> what are other people's? Maybe we can go off that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to think of like those cool like niche little locations, but sometimes I only think about them when they're actually prevalent in my mind, you know? Maybe not unknown, but I always appreciate the Tingle Islands like off the eastern coast. There's not really much there besides like a shrine, but I don't know, just exploring those different areas and the little mining sections is cool. But man, <laughs> in terms of like unknown, I don't know. Shadow Hamlet Ruins? Okay. Secret room in the Akala Tower. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> nice one, sorry. When the beast regains its true My body's failing me. Oh yeah, and then the, the glitched area in the Bridge of Hylia with no cell shading. I like that one too. And yeah, Western Akala is pretty underrated because it just more densely wooded. With, like, the paths. Okay. Let's keep going, keep going. It's like I need to blow my nose. <laughs> Don't mind me. 
I'm off screen, because why would I do this on camera? I don't know. Actually, let me stand up and do it, because it's easier. I heard a voice. One second. Uh, Piggy can take over for like 20 seconds. <laughs> voice you say like self-dubbing just in my head okay sorry about that I like the last bits of congestion I'm trying to get out of my system so don't worry <laughs> piggy is awesome right piggy yeah <laughs> Uh, we'll just ignore because it doesn't matter. You'll get me to the end result anyways. <laughs> Don't mind me, says the streamer. <gasps> the things I sometimes say out of my mouth is questionable. It contradicts itself, but it's okay. I never claim to be one with wards. Okay, hand it over. <laughs> if you think about it, the ego is just a failing cult. It's a very failed cult. <laughs> They're only working off the anger of their dead leader halfway through the game, so. Yeah. All right. Um, well, this pond has the fishies, which I like the fishies. Yeah, fish. <laughs> That, that, that checks out. But these guys will be important for our next piece of gear. Just kind of lob them off the edge. Yeah. Two stealthy shots. Oh. Hey, blow your horn. Make it easy. Boop. Nice. <laughs> Steady with the shot. We do need to get up there, uh... I don't have bombs yet. Or a paraglider, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> but killing him was good for, uh... Lots of free arrows, yes. One arrow for ten fire arrows? I'll take that. Did this guy drop any? No. It still is the odds of it. But yeah, all parts, especially guts, is what we need. I guess anything for material hoarding's sake. And yeah, we'll need the fairy fountains, which can be pretty expensive, but later as we go, if we get some uh, mineral deposits or even just killing silver enemies, we can get tons of materials that way. So I'm not too worried. Okay. Sorry, I gotta see. Did, did the one Bacoblin drop guts? If it didn't, then no. Okay. Okay, that chest is what I needed. Uh, <laughs> we'll come back when the platform sinks. I can't get that yet, so. Oops. I can get this, though. Free uh, <laughs> DLC gem? Yes. Yeah, welcome everyone tuning in. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, yeah, the rules for the run are in the objective panel, which is in the about section on mobile. So yeah, first phase of the run is helping all 21 traveler packs, maxing out soldier armor, which requires a lot of monster kills, and uh, getting the horse armor. So you just started playing Link's Awakening on the Switch. It's the best game for impatient people. Yeah, it's it's a game that just keeps going like. There's not a lot of downtime. You can always just do something. It always presents the next, you know, dungeon or idea or quest. Uh, it's a really fast-paced game, shorter game, but awesome. So, at least in Zelda standards. Is Master Bro too easy? Should it be harder? I think the, dif the difficulty is just fine. Like, 
obviously I've played the game a lot, so I can handle like tougher things, but for like a hard mode in a Zelda game, I think they got the difficulty pretty good. Uh, it does make for a pretty unbalanced early game, unless you know like all the strats. But really for like that late mid to late game, uh, has a really nice balance, so you're not just stupidly overpowered. Okay, use that. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> you don't get, don't die to this guy. I don't think that's ever happened before. Okay. <laughs> Not me either, though, right? Uh, yeah, sure, that's good enough. You just need the ramp. <laughs> You can just do the shrine with the shield too, but we don't got that yet. <laughs> In a fit of frustration, throws the box. Yeah, it's just so fun just going ham with the gyroscope in this. Like you can just twist and turn your controller, and whatever happens, happens. Who knows? You might just lop it 100 miles an hour into an enemy and uh, have a good time. <laughs> Yeah, no Divine Beast this run. Uh, just want to make the run more about the world itself and helping things and defeating things in the world. So, and plus, if every run is based around Divine Beast, it gets a little repetitive. So, <laughs> apparatus shrines be like, yeah, the controller flippies. I never really played this game in handheld, but I could really see how that sucks if you played. <laughs> The apparatus shrines and handheld. Okay. Now that we did this, we can get the second soldier weapon. All right. Let me just not use the handle in this mug because I only have this hand free. This is, uh, it's peppermint tea, by the way, because it's good, so. Okay. We will keep on going. Old man. That's his name. Very nice. But we have the rune. Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Come on, help us out with the cops. Oh, wow. I guess call him a hardhead, jeez. Oh, arrow. Wait. Did you drop an arrow? Where'd these come from? Oh, yeah, the box. Right. <laughs> My bad. Come on, we're soldiers. We're meant to be strong, not smart. Well, well that's a lie. Uh, I guess knights will be smart, so we'll have to develop the brain power eventually. Smacking on it. Metal versus metal. <laughs> the chest is the strongest metal. <laughs> I just like plopped it down. Opal, very good. Also, I remember when this was a big thing in the game. You can create like a little seesaw. There we go. Wait. <laughs> Not that this is smart. Let's just save just in case. Uh... <laughs> Boing? That is the best seesaw I've made in my life. <laughs> it would probably help if the chest was unopened, honestly. Are we going to try it once more? Yeah. See, we have to uh, uh, regain our sense of physics. This is going to be a really crappy seesaw. I did not go to college for this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wait, but the boulder could launch us, right? 
The boulder could launch us. Come on, boulder. Yeah, that, no, that was a pretty good launch. Like, I don't think you can get much better, but we'll, we'll try a little bit. Yeah, this boulder is going to be killer. I just know it. Okay, there we go. Boulder, do your thing. You are very, very heavy. You can't tell me this isn't, isn't going to work. Woo! Oh, a little too much, actually. <laughs> Our legs just did the splits. Working a little too hard at this, I guess. <laughs> okay, why are we doing this? <laughs> this is our way of pouring one out for uh, our fallen comrades. We're just reliving their past deaths. I can imagine just like a pack of soldiers on the plateau fighting the last guardians. Just uh, making some catapult contraption to fling themselves up. Shoot an arrow to guardian. Final shot. <laughs> Plunges to death. Why? I don't know. But, uh, it's the type of things that go through my brain, so. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Anyways, we'll save here, because some good loot's coming up. <laughs> yes, the soldier's launch. Very nice. Thank you, Orca, for the tier one sub. Ten months. Awesome. Okay, so we need to make it on there. Oh, wait. Now, if we jump to it, it's not going to work. Because we don't have the paraglider. However. There's the plank. Okay. Oh, we shall go. Uh, I didn't really think this through, but... Uh oh Oh, wait. Yeah. We just need to make it flat, don't we? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, don't stick it too much. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was trying to create a bridge between this and the thing. But I realize this works, too. Okay. And we get... A, a critical hit, soldier's sword. There we go. Sword brandished by the soldiers who once protected Hyrule Castle. Its durable blade is well tuned for slaying monsters. And slaying monsters we will, so. <laughs> As we have been. It's kind of funny, we just have a plank. It weighs it down quite a bit, too. Makes sense. But okay. That is the second of seven weapons of the soldier tier on the plateau. And I was left behind by a soldier who was uh, swimming in the lake for too long. Spoiler alert, he didn't know how to swim. Yeah, critical it isn't bad. Honestly, like, you can go either way with the, the modifiers on this thing. Because each adds just a little bit to the uh, overall longevity of it, or maximum damage. Okay. Next is Bomb Shrine. We can do that. I'm not going to worry about killing those guys. Usually just the archers, because they yield us arrows. Like you. A backwards headshot. Oops. <laughs> I mean, that does the trick, too. And arrow replenishment. Good. Okay. Yeah. The next shrine's up ahead and the next weapon. There's going to be quite a few weapons in the cold area, though. So we'll be prepared. It'll be fine. Yeah, cool. <laughs> for whatever's reason. Are we going to make a map for, for this run? Uh, I wasn't planning on it. Um, mainly because there's so many locations that it's not super important to. 
And also the object map is, exists. It's the same reason why we didn't make a map for the bone run, because there's just so many areas where you can get those weapons. But if you want to find soldier weapons, like literally just go to the object map. Just just type in Breath of the Wild object map into Google. And then in that search bar, type in soldier. And it'll show all the locations, so. I'll only make maps for videos where uh, there's not many weapons at all. And they can be easily tracked on a map. Or like, more importantly tracked on a map, rather. Yes, time for the booms. Okay. Yeah, all these shrines have like travel weapons in it, which obviously isn't the goal. Oh well. There's gonna be a soldier weapon just beside the shrine. Then go to the cold area, there's gonna be most of them, so. Also, I do have the main bottle too, because yes. Boom. We don't need that. That's just the, the chest room. Do I have a favorite run? Um, as much as I, I like them all, I really did appreciate doing the Amiibo runs. Uh, both were super great because they were just very unpredictable and uh, we just had to be very adaptive, which I liked. Also really enjoyed the Guardian run because we just had a nice ramp up in power. And then the Royal Guard run was awesome for while well, clearing out the castle at the end. But ultimately, they were all very great, so. And the chest here is, uh, it's a traveler thing, not soldier, so. There we go. Oh, <laughs> right. Not quite the important one. There we go. After the shrine, I'm just going to quickly use the restroom, if you don't mind. Uh, bear with me, sorry. Ooh. Or actually, I'm going to wait until we loan to the next shrine. Screw it. Still mad that the ball has no purpose in the shrine? Yeah. <laughs> it's just to show you that you can be launched across. Actually, screw it. I'm going to the bathroom now. Sorry, I, I lied twice. Uh, okay. We will pause it like this because I don't want to get mauled by a skeleton outside. Anyways, uh, give me like 60 seconds. Piggy can watch the stream. Uh, so, Piggy, do your thing. With Piggy, we can also put a penny too. So, do a Piggy watch because uh, the support is nice. So, be right back. Sorry. <laughs>
All right, so good job, guys. Woo! I am back <laughs> and ready. Oh, I got a green screen corner. One second. There we go. Bloop. Yeah. I always gotta adjust that. Okay. Now. Let us go. <laughs> We're talking about uh the the village music and whatnot. Yeah. I still love Hitano Village probably the most. Okay. It's not quite night yet. Which is fine. We don't need switch shirt either. We can just keep going, uh any loose Korox we'll get. Nothing too out of the way, because I don't plan on doing too many seeds anyways today. Or in general. <laughs> Here. And there we go, I don't care if we run out. <laughs> oh wait. Did I literally forget? I did. Forgot about the weapon. <laughs> I was immediately charging uh the next area. But there's literally a weapon here that is very helpful. <laughs> Can we pay respects to the drill shaft? I don't know if we'll be seeing the drill shaft today. I don't plan on going all the way to Death Mountain for no good reason, so. And there's not really travelers there, just kind of on the outskirts. A call of the will be, though, so. Okay. <laughs> not skeletons. We need Boko stuff. But for another one of the, the soldier weapons. Yep, just uh, behind the bomb shrine is a uh, soldier's broadsword again. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we got two soldier's broadswords right off the bat. Okay. Next ones will be in the snow area, so we'll be nice and uh, prepared, <laughs> toasty. No. Yeah, there's gonna be a line up ahead. You're from Canada, so travelers being spelt with one will know you for the whole run. Oh, is there a different spelling for travelers? <laughs> Not sure. Can we have bombs. I don't think we need keys. Oh, wait a second. I think we do need keys parts too. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Even stuff like keys and choo choo parts we'll need for the armor. Going all the way to uh, even Lionel parts, but not yet Lionel, sorry. <laughs> also, Travelers and, and Travelers. Uh... Okay, there's an extra to L. Okay. In the British Canadian. Interesting. Where are we trying to go? Okay. You're there. If they provide no merit, they don't get the, the bombs. Or anything. Favorite weapons is soup ladle. It's pretty based. Yeah. Soup ladle, mop, pitchfork, all great ones. Yeah, we'll have the spicy peppers we need in here. Because with only a few weapons, it'll be pretty easy. Only one shield, though, so it'll all kind of suck. No? Okay. Maybe it blew too far. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Korok. And hey, Nelm. Yeah, um, we'll be using the night stuff once we... Uh, We'll prove ourselves in the run. So, by doing the three objectives, including the travelers, uh, then yeah, the run will be become the night run for the final segment of, of clearing out the citadel and the finale. So I'm excited for all that. Right now we're just kind of fooling on the plateau, and uh, you know whatever happens happens too. Do the weapons on the ground skilled modifiers? Most of them no. Uh, yeah, it's very uh specific how that works, but a lot of the grown ones tend to be base. Bit chilly, yeah. <laughs> We're fine. Okay, um... 
guess if we cook a few minute one. I don't think we need any more than that. Yeah, we're, that's totally fine. Also, just like food for the sake of food is nice too. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Screw it. Okay, and then uh, stamina for the sake of stamina is nice too. <laughs> In case we mess up a climb, which is inevitable sometimes. <laughs> Why not? There's only one Gerudo shield in the world that doesn't scale, and it's in the middle of a Lizzle camp. Found out we're trying to remake the Daybreaker one time. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I know there's a lot of uh, specific things. And yeah, there's definitely some weapons too where uh, the modified versions eventually go away. Like if you get all, if you pick up all the modified versions, you can't find another one. Example being the Drill Shaft. If you use up all the modified ones, Eventually, you won't find them anymore because the only respawnable ones in that cave and that one doesn't have modifiers. So it's very interesting. Oh, <laughs> it went on the tree. That's going to be a very rampy bridge. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't expect that one. Here, you can take that. Oh, that friction. On to the next one. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to do it again. <laughs> Very interesting. Both you and my fa you and your family watch the YouTube. Awesome, watch me on YouTube. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, you love how an old man is complaining to a half naked child about the cold. Well, you know, he's just trying to, you know, make him a part of the experience. Uh, <laughs> sucks how he knows all this above us and is just a dangling information over our heads. Always. But we have to prove ourselves, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Get that. Yeah. Make more domino trees. As we should. The apple tree will be nice, though. I'm literally just taking advantage of anything. So once we get off the plateau, we can do a lot more killing, uh, but our probably first objective after the plateau is just beelining straight to Hateno for the armor. Because staying within the theme and actually, uh, you know, donating the armor of our uh, profession would be nice. There we go. Okay. Nice. Where's the next one? Here. Just two quick ones and wait for the red and jump on up. Or that too. That, that's fine too. Just don't slide off. Uh oh. Mistake. <laughs> when you're impatient slightly. It's fine. It's fine. Just be a little less impatient next time. Get the mushrooms. Link's face is just the most funny thing. And it just his like nice uh <laughs> regenning pose. Oh. We'll do it again after this because it was funny. There we go. Get that stuff. And for you. <laughs> yes. All exhausted. <laughs> Just panting and then... Yes! <laughs> I don't know if I ever had that reaction before when I'm just, you know... Regaining my breath and I'm like, okay, we're better. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Very animated, but this is why we love Link. Oh, right into stealth. What are you hiding from? The enemies are that way. They can't hear you. That, that, and... Oh. They reanimated. Uh oh. Actually, spears are not good. So let's uh, go inside. <laughs> okay. Do the shrine, and then, yeah, we can do the cold stuff. 
a lot of stuff around. Yeah, I think it's going to be a... What is it again? Like a broadsword, a shield, and a bow. So we'll be able to get it all. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was trying to stasis it. Me not remembering the order here. Also, thank you, Cuddle Paws, for the, the pen. Hundred eighteen days until Tears of the Kingdom. Nice. Yeah, it's it's creeping up. Less than four months now. Where'd the time go? Um, but also, it's been so long. It's been over five years. So, well, it'll be over six. Okay. Keep going, and uh, that's not fine. <laughs> We can deal with a semi-bad angle, but it can't be too bad. Whoop. That's fine. And then we just gotta give this a little push. Just stand right next to it. We don't have to use the bomb method. There we go. We just become so much heavier than the boulder. Don't know why it works, but we're glad it does. Bye-bye, hammer. It's not the Goron run, sorry. You like being able to pin things as a mod and not have to get my attention on YouTube? Yeah. Um, Twitch is definitely more advanced with... Uh, <laughs> You know, moderator permissions and even just moderation stuff in general, or just accessibility and uh, function functions stuff like that. And yeah, I really wish even just with like Twitch though, like there's an easier way to have a description or like the panels. That's like the one downside compared to YouTube because it's like, you know, not everything can be explained in a title. So, but okay. <laughs> How are these still here? <laughs> oh, it's been daytime for a while. I'm gonna let the the sun take care of you. Almost fall off the edge. That would have taken care of me. But we've already been taken care of twice in the run. <laughs> okay. This way. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's cold, so uh, let's subdue the cold. Cold resistance. And just one final jump. We should have went there, but that's that's okay, because we can make it. Just fine. <laughs> I can't wait to get that shield. It'll be very soon. But also very important, so... Okay, yeah, last four weapons are pretty much within this grinder area. So we can do that and the shrine and, uh, yeah. First one, though, is probably going to be the hardest. Because it's tied to uh, a much higher caliber enemy. Keep going with that. Keep going with that. Whoosh. <laughs> Climbing is kind of loud, but I think we can get the upper edge. Yes. No. <sighs> Disappointing. You know, I have a plan B. Let me get the chest first. Yes. <laughs> Stole his riches. He's extra mad. Or wait. Wait, no, it's not you. <laughs> what was I thinking? Wait. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I forgot. It's not him. I was thinking of another guy who had one. <laughs> Whoops. Because first where I wanted to go was the waterfall cave. 
Because that's where our first one should be. But we'll do a different one first to make up for that. <laughs> Me being a, a dummy. Do I like hot chocolate? <laughs> hot chocolate will be really nice right now to survive the cold. But I, I do like it, yes. I like hot, cold time beverages like that. Nice cup of hot tea, or even coffee. Okay, I recognize we just screwed that up. <laughs> huh. Ice arrows could be kind of nice. I don't want to fire the whole thing to get rid of the weapon. So you know what's a good way to do this? It's kind of fun. You, call, you can call it a bit of a hack, but uh, <laughs> we just roll the save to where it was. Then uh, some pretty good things happen. Whoop! Just like that. Okay. <laughs> a lot easier that way. And we get our first shield. <laughs> I mean, come on, you can't blame me for that. Uh, we're the last soldier left. We need a lot to stay ahead. Whatever it takes. Okay, he dropped no ice arrows. <laughs> he is of worthless to me. Okay. Uh, with the shield, we can do... Bomb parries don't work when you're picking up an item that I didn't want to pick up. We have to redo that. <laughs> we literally have to redo that. Oh my god. It didn't even save after that chest pickup. Like, it really... It really... Okay. Do it again. Do it again. It's fine. A cool trick, is it not? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll take the ice arrows this time. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Just step in the water, he's like, uh, I don't like that. Whew. Good. That was such a weird encounter. Okay. Bomb parry. Let me get the meat. <laughs> Flipping meat. Okay, I think there'll be ice shoes. I don't think we need those in the run, but I mean, if we if we kill them, then we have them. So, also a lot of uh, bundles of campfire here. <laughs> Whatever soldiers tried to live, obviously didn't. Here we go. Yeah, what's with all these campfire bundles? Why am I just noticing them? Like three in a row. I guess if you don't have cold uh, resistance, you can walk the fires on forward. So, sure, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'll take it because it's free. But I do have to be careful of the time limit. Weird. You gotta take a day and practice bomb parries. You never got the timing, but they look so useful. It is very nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's like almost instantaneous. That's the way I can describe it. Uh, but like it's yeah it's once you get a feel for it you get it just but you're you're hitting l like uh, a split second just uh before a because you got to detonate the bomb and then parry the bomb so if you do it at the same exact time then you're probably going to blow yourself up if you do it too late then you hit your shield okay next one's over there but what, what? Okay. I'm gonna go over here first, because there's another. Oh, 
How are we going to do this? Well, nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, they definitely heard. I need to get up there, though, please. You have what I need. Oh, well, I need that, too. Take down this thing. Yes, please. Two for one. We got the spears. Aha, there you are. Okay. What is the guard stat? It's only a 16, so we can't parry that all of his hands. Ah, I don't want that. No, uh. Yucky. Not so yucky. Okay. Uh. There we go. Blast him back. Uh. <laughs> This guy. There we go. Again. Uh, how do we disarm him easily? <laughs> if we push him into the water, I don't think that's going to be good for us. Oh, wait. The metal. We like metal. Metal's great for a lot of things. But especially the bonk. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of bonks. There we go. Get over here. Bonk. Oh, there's the sword. That's all I need. Oh, wait. Wait. That's not good metal. Here. You want to get on top of this thing? Then get on top of the thing. If you're really feeling risky, get on top of it. We'll see what happens. Try to get your sword. It's under there. Come on, Bacoblin. Come on, Bacoblin. Nope, nope, your sword's right there. What? How'd you get it? Hey. Give it back. You don't deserve the sword. If you're nothing without the sword, then you shouldn't have it. It's fine, okay. Flatten you. Because we get the sword now. And we'll become something with it. Okay. You know, we're going to employ a, a similar strategy to this. Because we need what's on there. There we go. Uh, here, just, uh, just stop attacking me for a moment. Thank you. Okay. Wait, that, that didn't do too much. Oh, and our coal resistance ran out. Here. You do that. That's it's fine. It's fine. It it just happens. <laughs> Cause we need to take this and soldier's bow. Small bit of attack up, but it's an actual modified one. It'll be good to have the extra. And those arrows too. Uh, how do we get this? Wait. Arrows come to me. A little closer. There we go. There we go. And then just safely take that to shore. Ah! Oh, that wasn't very safe. Or, you know what? It, it worked out. <laughs> okay, thank you. You were very helpful. Now, before we die here, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Not too uh, hot, is it? Here, I'm actually gonna need this back temporarily. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We'll live. Need to do that. Rumble out. I know we're about to die. One more apple. But there's a cooking pot right over there. See, we picked up some peppers too at the camp. So it's it's not a bad thing. Let's see, if we just do that and we put the peppers. Just a few more and we're perfectly fine. Soldier's door. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect strat. Soldiers have to be resourceful. Oh. That's not resourceful. That's just wasteful. Just five. Maybe a little critical. Nah. 
And uh, where's we're just an easy food one? Give me some of my life back. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Oh wait, no, I should've just ate the coal resistance. It's fine, it's fine. Not like we can't get more mushrooms. Yes. Okay, well, last power is Cronus. We have gotten uh, three Four, five, six weapons, and there's gonna be just one more. And no spears or claymores yet, but that's not plateau loot, so it's okay. Oh! <laughs> what do you know? Not me choking it. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Tons of food waste just for that. How awesome. It's okay. Not like food's in short supply. I just targeted onto that and confused my camera. Okay, so what we'll have to do is, yeah, just go behind the waterfall. There is a nice secret stash. You didn't used to play with motion control because you, uh, you played the Switch Lite. That's fair. But now that you bought a TV, really enjoying the Magnesis bug, yeah. Like, if you can do motion easily, then definitely go for it. It makes everything so much more fun. Yep. And it actually makes, like, Magnesis actually pretty viable. And the spear in the next shrine is a soldier's. It's a traveler's, unfortunately. So. I know that because I've done it a lot. <laughs> but thank you, though. Oh. No, thank you. Yeah, it's a bit of a track just for that, but... What can you do? I really just don't need all these uh, choo-choo jellies. I need that guy's a night weapon. So we can't even use it right now. Okay. And here we are, just in the ground. <laughs> the Knight's Lost Stash. We're soldiers. That is the fourth soldier sword. Two bows and one shield, which makes up all the weapons on the plateau. So just one more shrine and then we can get off here till the next objectives and start helping people. Oh, we don't need that actually. Yeah, I'll take it all. <laughs> really just has to be a walk back, sadly. Not that time's an issue. Keep going. Is the loot still there for when I blew him up? Again, not important, but I just like the spoils and like the trophies knowing that I killed something. Oh. But also, yeah, it's really not important. The normal choo choo jellies, I think, are needed for maybe the level one upgrade. I forgot exactly what it is, but it's uh, normal choo jellies. I think some keys parts. I'm not sure if it's eyeballs or the wings. Uh, Cobblin guts, Moblin guts, Lizalfos guts, Hinox parts, and Lionel parts. So. There we go. Final shrine. Now be careful here. There's there's dangers. In the form of uh, <laughs> conjured snowballs. Didn't know these guys were magicians. Ooh, yummy. Not the barrel. Ah! Ow. Wait, that did good damage. Okay, let's get out. <gasps> Almost got barrel slammed. Kinamat shrine. Okay. 
Yeah, we can do our first traveler pack soon because there's one literally right outside the plateau. So we'll be hitting that in a moment. Just got to do this and uh, yeah. <laughs> Streaming finally at a reasonable time. Yeah, I know the earlier streams are better for a lot of people too. So I do those when I stream on the weekends. Cryonis time. <laughs> I was like, what's the final spot for him? Like, oh yeah, camera. <laughs> for some reason I was thinking it was Master Cycle. Forgetting the camera room just is a thing. I like it though. It's it makes sense that they give you all like the necessary rooms right away. But leaving one spot just for a fun side one. Or you can be photogenic if you wish. Okay, there we go. This guy will not be an issue this run. He only gives me your problems in amoeba runs. It's just like the curse. <laughs> we thought I was gonna parry. I'm not that confident. Just need to get out. <laughs> but this for the heels. Take advantage of the free Sheikah food. Because you always restore your health. Okay. This run I don't plan on using Amiibo. If there was a soldier Amiibo, then sure. But there's not. There's the free food. Thank you, Sheikah Monk. <laughs> monk food. Monk fruit. That's what he gives me. Okay. Um, let me fix my green screen again, because I don't know what's happening. But there's always like a little corner on my screen. It's just like annoying. Okay. We're good. All right, yeah, now we can speed run and get into the paraglider. <laughs> what about Archer Link? I mean, a lot of the stuff can drop soldier weapons, but... I just didn't really plan on using an amiibo, so. Plus, we can get soldier weapons anywhere. All right. <laughs> the bob barrels. I mean, tons of amiibos get soldier weapons, too, so. So I guess we could use that to get weapons, but I also like getting them organically in the world because it's like, hey, you can easily get them here. We don't have to rely on something else. That's usually the goal, unless they're really in short supply. But for this run, it doesn't really apply. There, oop, nice. Lunge. Okay, well, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go uh, back here then. Yeah. We can also get some choo-choo's on the way, because we need those jellies. I, I didn't get any base ones yet. Just to help us out, I think in total we need like nine. Because like three per part. Also, yeah, the rupees for the fairy fountains will be a lot, but... Between killing silver enemies and getting gemstones and... Also just mining gemstones, we'll get a lot of money. Ah... Uh. For swords, we're going to use a not uh, upgraded one first. Ba -ba Whoosh. <laughs> Love my video so much. This is the first time on a Twitch stream. Always have a blast watching. Um, well, thank you for a question. You heard you say that the wait for Tears of the Kingdom is now the longest wait for a Zelda game. Uh, well, longest wait for a 3D Zelda game. That's the clarification. So, but yeah, um... If you want to count Link's Awakening and Age of Calamity, Age of Calamity is a spinoff, Link's Awakening is a remake. So, mainline Zelda games, it would still hold the same argument, actually. Because there's been no mainline game between uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears, so. But thank you, though. Even, like, between uh, Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild, it was, like, a five-year, three-month wait, I'm pretty sure. But even then, like... There's no 3D games between them, but we still got A Link Between Worlds, which was still considered a new game. So yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> I think there's Chuchu's on the path. I'm not sure if they spawn at night. I forgot. 
I just know chujus are weird. Oh, there you are. Hello, Chu. <laughs> he lunged a little forward. It's cute. There we go. Oh, keys too? Oh, Bull goes back. That almost got me. Where did the goblin go? Oh. Nice buckle launch. Yeah, just get mad instead of attacking. Sure thing. Isn't there Choo Choo's here too? I, I don't remember. Or maybe one of the barrels? Yeah, there we go. I was about to say. Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Ooh, eggs. I like eggs. Good protein for soldier muscles. Perfect. Uh, we'll say it's good for now. We'll, we'll find more choo choos. They're not that rare. Was there some here, though? You can never tell with choo choos because you just kind of pop up when you least expect them. And when you don't want them. So we're gonna find a choo-choo. Okay, now I don't want to find a choo-choo. So if we're not expecting them, they should show up, right? No, I can't outplay it like that. Okay, whatever. You know, we're just uh gonna go to the tower. In your HR run, you've been getting other armor pieces to sell. Well, that, that's a fair point. I guess we could do that technically too. Yeah, why not? I, I don't know why I never did that in the ones, but I guess we can pick up pieces of armor to sell. Okay. <laughs> he needs to buzz off. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, was just the were volleys guild in the tower. <laughs> Oop, more bats. More parts. Close. Oh, there we go. Lunge back into the bomb. Thank you. Just carry practice while we need it. Okay, for this guy, I'm going to do uh, the stamina upgrade for sure. I don't think I need hearts. Do we get more? No, because... Aha. Don't break my shield too fast now. Whew. The best and easiest armors to go for are the Barbarian and Rubber ones, because they sell for 600 each. That's actually really nice. I think I've ever really tried selling the armors much before, so that's good to know. Get that stamina. This is Soldier, will we get Knights and Royal? Well, Knights is also this run. Uh, Royal, no, because, I mean, with Royal stuff, there's not really a good armor to go with it. There's Royal Guard armor to go with the Royal Guard stuff. Uh, and for the Soldier Knight stuff, there's going to be this run, because there's Knight armor. But Royal run, uh, nah, that's not what we really plan on doing. Because it's all very overpowered stuff, for one. And two, there's not really good matching armor, so. Dye the armor yellow. <laughs> I'm somewhat of a fan of the normal uh, soldier armor color. But when we advance to the knights here, I do plan on dying at black. Because I feel like that looks more appropriate. So there's a bit of a visual distinction besides just from the weapons. Uh, 
Okay. We're gonna let the night cutscene. <laughs> Night's cutscene. Yeah, it's nighttime. Uh, let the cutscene play out. I gotta use Russian Brigand, actually. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of liquid, so it's really my bad. But let that play out for just like a minute. Uh, this time we're gonna have another uh, stream guardian. We're gonna have Penny and Bobby this time. Bobby's riding Penny. Penny has a saddle. Be right back, guys. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age-long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions. A name All right. that solidified their unique bond. Good job, guys. The princess, Ooh. her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Gary. All right. If you don't mind, I might skim this cutscene here, because uh, it'll go on for another 18 minutes. <laughs> so we, we will... There we go. <laughs> I think you guys get the story. There was a calamity and it was bad and Link's a soldier and he has to take care of the calamity and take care of the people and the military is gone. So he is the military. Uh, there we go. That is the game's lore mixed in with our own for the run. So boom. Yeah, the cutscene's like five minutes. I'm pretty sure every single time we watch a cutscene, it's when I, I take a break for the bathroom in the run. We get like halfway through. <laughs> it was calamity and it was bad, yeah. The calamity was kind of sucky, you know? Some some people died, uh, you know, but come on, they're gonna be glowy spirits now. That's not, that's not a bad afterlife. We like the Hylian afterlife. All right, destroy Ganon. Uh, we're gonna have to rake up quite a bit to do that. Um, but we can do that by actually applying our skills we learned to just to the world. So, I'm sure we'll see some nice packs of travelers we can save pretty soon. Because there's one pretty close by. So we will start with that. It's just going to be just past the uh, Magnesis Shrine. 
think we're pretty prepared to. Yeah. Also for the video, I'm probably going to include plateau stuff this time too, only because the the soldier locations for these weapons. One of the few runs where we actually did something on the plateau instead of nothing. Oh wait, wait, wait! I can use that. <laughs> I think I just fire and ice arrows, but might as well. Oh, what? Hi. Okay. But a snipe in the cutscene here. Are you trying to get the upper edge like that? Hey, hey! Yeah, literally! Come on. Don't think we're not being sharp about this. <laughs> you missed. Wait, one more. I'm gonna parry your arrow. Luck is on my side today. Ow. Come on. Bring it. That was so close. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to parry the arrow. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Two more tries. One more try. You missed anyways. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was just really hope. We deserved it. We deserved it. <laughs> we solved the hold up a bit. Hey, Gentle Links, thank you for the tier one sub. A better late than never. Glad to support for all these months. Hope I'm feeling better. Gonna enjoy the murder spray. It'll be just amazing as always. First, we just have to murder first without getting murdered. We're just trying to get a Korok and just <laughs> met with murder afterwards. It was a Korok's evil spirit, bodyguard, whatever, attacking us. <laughs> I played around and found out, yeah. <laughs> but we have to play around to, uh, you know, see what our potential is. Oh, you <laughs> should. Ice is slippery. Parry an arrow once, nice. I did a couple times, it's so hard though. The timing is very tight. Uh. Oh, yeah, I can take the arrow. Or not. Okay, um... Hmm. Wait a second. I need to see if we're in the right area. Uh, yeah, we are. Okay, good. <laughs> there are some steeds down there. I really want a black horse for this one. I think it'll be cool. If we save and reload, the horses will uh, recycle. Let's see if we can get a black horse right, right away. Sorry, because having a black horse with the knight armor will be awesome. And, uh, especially when we dye the soldier armor black. Ah. Well, we do need a steed. And that one will fit, uh, a whole look pretty well soon. Horsey? Get on him! Go! Yes, in the kingdom! Which we will protect. Your skeleton business had enough of you. <laughs> All of you. The night charge through the night. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's night. There's a lot of stamina. Nice strong horse for us. With that, we can uh, start our adventure around the world and help out the people throughout. Like these people, our first pack of travelers. But well, we prepared for this. Hit him aside, horsey. <laughs> yes. One and good start. Smack him around. Yes. One final one. Got
Guys, you want to help? No, I ran out of stamina. <laughs> Pick up the slack. Hit him. <laughs> it's up to a night now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> First pack slaughtered. Awesome, guys. Mina? That got hairier than I expected. But goblins don't have hairs. Did pretty good. Much as the gals me to thank you for saving us, that is what happened. So sure, here's a little something. Well, thanks for that. Be more prepared next time, though. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll get him next time, for sure. Two mills. I think highly that Mina is safe. Knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting. Wait, is there a treasure here? Is there? Oh, well, there's bats. That's not treasure. Uh, wait. Ready for the charge. There we go. Where'd that horsey go? There's the horsey, all the way back there. I think I do want to keep him. He's kind of nice. The Bokos have fur, they do? I don't know, I guess I always just thought of their uh, skin as just like a, you know, like a flush, you know? Is the reward randomized? It, it is. I'm not sure how it is, though. At least I'm pretty sure. This horse is beautiful. I kind of have a name in mind. It's not like a Mimi name. It just, it's one that I actually had a while ago. But I'm still finalizing my head. <laughs> oh, wait, there is treasure. Aha, they were right. <laughs> so close yet so far. And far for me, because I can't pick that up. <laughs> That's such a cool shield, though. Yeah, Love the design. Where are those guys? Oh, they have a similar shield. Oh, they have a design, too. They're trying to collect all the patterns, I see. <laughs> what are you looking at? It's rubble. Yeah, it doesn't belong... I mean, I guess you can have it. Find some treasure. Family. Yeah, where's the treasure? Hope it just wasn't that shield. <laughs> I never really uh, cared to look if there was actually treasure here. But, I mean, anything can be treasure to whoever. Rusty weapons. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I guess there, too. Why not? <laughs> Floating chest? Sure. That's some treasure if you uh, don't think so already. Name it just Soldier. Yes. <laughs> it is the Soldier Run. Still Soldier Runs. Oh. I, I could actually use the food. If you give rusty weapons to a rock rock rock, could it give you soldier weapons? It could. Huh. That's a fair point, but I don't think we're going to the, the volcanic area today. Or just during this. There is no need to go to Death Mountain, so anything there, we're not doing. There we go. Moblins. Not yet. Eventually, we need parts from them, though. I guess these ones are easy. Um, we do need some moblin guts. So, <laughs> run them over a bit. Moblin guts will be good for upgrading. Oh. Ah, uh, get them. Ah! No! Get them! Away! Away! Stop! 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 <laughs> I couldn't see his health bar. So we just kind of guessed it. <laughs> At the end of the day, we realized he had a lot more health. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's fine. All deaths are just character builders anyways. Okay. Don't let it happen again, though. There we go. <laughs> just get a critical in there. That's all we had to do. There we go. Yep, okay. <laughs> See, that's more intended. And just run him over a bit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the horse kill. And Moblin Guts is what we need, because that'll be helpful for upgrading the soldier armor as well. A lot of the stuff will be. Oh, <laughs> and choo choos, okay. It's just giving us what we need. Thank you. Oh, sorry, horse. Get back. We don't want to traumatize you that much. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to everyone tuning in, though. Uh, yeah, we just got off the plateau, so... We're pretty much just charging our way east so we can actually get the soldier armor, because that's in Hateno. That's okay, you can blow the horn. I don't really care. <laughs> oh. There we go. Uh, arrows for me. Yes. Oh, you have arrows too, don't you? Not quite. <laughs> he just has a bow, but... He's not one of the ones that actually dropped the arrows. But they're in their chest. Oh. Meant to parry. <laughs> Yucky. No long throw. Okay, where's our horse? Uh... We shouldn't have just rode a wild horse into the camp that we wanted to have. That one's on me. Uh, okay, slow weapon, guys. Okay, name the game is Find Our Wild Horse. Where, where, where did it go? <laughs> yeah, they can attack the piggy. <laughs> Can't really whistle to it well. I just loaded everything else in the forest. Yeah, where did my horse go? It didn't go far, right? I missed it over by the ruins? Oh, really? Oh! <laughs> there you are. I did miss it. He was waiting for me perfectly where I needed to be. Such a good horse. Okay. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fox. I actually didn't want to kill him. Actually, all those kills were unintentional. They, they were just kind of in my way. But that's not a kill I would feel bad about here. Run him over. He's just being mad. Very mad. Go again. Charge horse. Charge. There we go. You can literally just joust with these guys. Joust. Woo. Nice. And then final shot. Head doesn't matter. Blow up with the bomb. And he's dead. Not always a gut, though. But jousting with this horse is so awesome. You know, they don't have a horse, so it's not really a joust, but uh, it's fine. Oh. oh, yeah, the traveler count still says, yep, you're right, thank you. <laughs> so whenever there's a new count, I forget to update it. Oh! Hmm, that was a unforeseen circumstance in <laughs> in the run. Okay, keep going. It's fine. We'll live. There we go. 
And then go again. Sweeping run. Yes. <laughs> These runs are going amazingly. Very good. <laughs> Joust horse. Nice. Ah. Don't run to the next one. He's trying to fight him solo. No. <laughs> don't do it. You need your companion. We do this together. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's like, I'm bailing. Uh, where are you going? Not to get whacked again, I, I would hope. Uh-oh. Wow, he has a death wish. <laughs> okay, do that. Don't hop it. That's fine. There we go. Oh, <laughs> wish we had a longer so weapon for this. There we go. That does the trick. Steer around. Drive it into him. Yes. Oh, and the jump at the end. Wow. <laughs> Boonk. Very nice. This horse is very flashy. It's, uh, we're training him up really well right now. Horse and soldier training. We don't even need the, the military training camp for that. Whew. Nice. Oh, by horse. And hey, Echo. I am doing well. Thank you. Uh, this week was rough. I was recovering from a cold. Now I'm pretty much fine. If I have just a little bit of congestion, uh, that's why. But I feel great. So thank you. And yeah, that's why we couldn't stream this Wednesday, which I was kind of sad about. I'll keep healing him up. Or whatever it is. How many arrows do we have? 36 is very good. All right. <laughs> Sorry, birds. Kind of just in the path. Just keep taking that for the more arrows. Assuming there's arrows. There is one for one for five. Yeah, it's okay. It happens. Also, I have water. I'm almost out of my tea. <laughs> I know there's a cork. I just like skimmed. But it's fine. I'm just going to wait. Really quickly. We're going to take a pit stop here. Because on top of upgrading the armor. We do need the funds for the fairy fountain. And uh. Well. A lot of funds in here. Ooh. The topaz fund is very good. The banana gem. What else is good? Uh. Amber Fund is okay. Take that. The Shrine I passed is a Soldier's Claymore. That's okay. I'm not going to focus on stuff in Shrines this run. Only really the convenient ones we'll grab. There's going to be a lot of convenient ones. But there's no sense of going, doing a Shrine just for one weapon. But thank you, though. Because if I do miss something, that's easy to mess but useful then uh we'll get it if we know about it oh literally just trying to turn we we kill two birds <laughs> my horses have vendetta for these but i guess the meat's nice it's trying to tell us something uh stop dying eat food no this is how we build character come on joust Oh, okay. More of the ambers are good. Yep. Whoop, and catch that. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, also with the armor upgrades, that means we'll have to kill, uh, or not kill, 
we'll have to get the four fairy fountains which besides the ruby requirement i'm just realizing that well we have to unlock the four fountains which requires a lot of travel too but it's not bad travel because uh we have to go to those areas anyways to save travelers so it'll all be worth it and there's another pack of travelers by hateno so it's all stuff that's very necessary and he's going to kill all the birds again. I'll just one, okay. These are the safe travelers. There are sometimes events where, like, wandering travelers can be caught by, like, enemies. But those aren't the ones that we're tracking. We're just counting, like, the 21 fixed encounters. So. Yeah, we'll get the shrine. There is some gem stuff over there, but my horse is this way. So we'll suck it up. There'll be plenty more gem stuff to get in the future. So what's on that one? And for you? Guess we'll see. <laughs> Ooh, shock stuff is good. I'll take it. Good for disarming. In case we need to uh, just disarm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was the horse really fighting him? Ooh, well, Soldier Spear, that's good. With durability. <coughs> Sorry, um. One second. Sorry. My body couldn't tell if it needed to, like, hiccup or, like, burp or, like, any single bodily function at once. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Cough. Uh. Yeah, I'll take that. Long spear once used by the guards of Hyrule Castle. And now us. Easy to use but difficult to master. Hmm. We'll learn, we'll, learn that, we'll learn that pretty soon. If we can master a drill shaft, we can master uh, a puny spear like this. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's fine. Horse is all the way over there, though. Which isn't fine. Uh oh. <laughs> mm. Hey. <laughs> the horse is still scared. I don't... I don't uh, stop. Stop charging. Oh, whoa! Oh my god! The shoes you try to attack him! <laughs> no match for joust. <laughs> Oh, no, he's trying to attack the Bacoblin. Okay, this is just furious. <laughs> he pays no allegiance to no Ganon. He fights everything he can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I don't want the tree branch. Where is my horsey friend, though? Oh, that ain't good. He's over there. Yeah, I'll take that. More shock arrows could be nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, good. <laughs> Horse is literally going through everything. Come on, I just want my night stuff. Yeah, after this, I... Okay, I really have to make that beeline to, uh, the next... Hateno. Okay. Dueling Peak Stable. Uh, never mind. Why'd I jump off my horse? I, I need to register him. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye. We need to sell stuff for the registration fee. No, not you guys. You're just greedy. Beetle, hello. Okay, yeah, come on. <laughs> we can do this. Let's make a transaction. I'm in need of business. Uh, look what I've got. We are going to go uh, Ruby easily. Just all the gemstones for now. The Topaz.
Just baseline, uh... Good 800. Awesome. Hey. Ooh. Let's go. You, yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, <laughs> I did the explanation. I know how. Okay. Register this guy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> He's got that stamina. What he lacks in strength, he'll get with the armor soon. That doesn't actually help, but just... <laughs> it makes sense uh, from a ward standpoint. There we go. 20 rupees. I'm sure he caught on to the name by now, but uh... <laughs> I really... Really gotta dig with this one. Joust. Come on, Joust. <laughs> Whatever Joust, uh... Just Jousting Adventures will take us in the future. Let's go! <laughs> I see plenty of soldier Joust in, in our, uh... <laughs> Nearby adventure. Okay. Joust and I can go. I just started calling him that, I think, earlier. So it just kind of stuck. That one was organic. It wasn't my original name, so. There we go. Ooh, let's get the, uh, the shrine, too. Because eventually we'll go to Kakariko once we have the armor. Because we need the fairy fountain. Ah, Damar. You play Minecraft and lurking. <laughs> Mood. Get on there. Oh, nice. Okay, just did the splits after the shield surf. Joust is always where we need him to be. And now let's joust away to Hateno and get that armor for ourselves. I think we finally deserve to donate. Just equip a... <laughs> A quick time lapse to get over in my head. I don't want to make many more stops. Uh -huh. Oh. You created an almost fully customizable text randomizer? Lead to funny things. Uh, <laughs> well, not uh, modifying the core principle and challenge stream. Interesting. That'll be kind of fun to check out sometime. Uh, you definitely remind me on that later. Okay, the tea's gone. You have Joust and Noble Steed. <laughs> when you first did this ride, you didn't realize you had a Cryonis over the stakes. You climbed the whole peaks. I did the same too. I literally climbed up the waterfall with like Cryonis pillars before I even had the Zora armor. Fort Hateno. Well, some sort of past militia was here before. I don't, know if I, I don't know if my services are needed here, though. They seem to handle that pretty fine. Ooh, sorry, travelers. But they're not in danger. I guess in this case, I am the danger. <laughs> Just <laughs> twirling a spear. Just at any traveler. We're asserting our power. <laughs> yeah. Military. Woo. <laughs> yeah, I don't really plan on getting many more points. I'll just get the antenna one. Because, like, what else do we need? Oh, okay. I really don't think there's anything else here. Like, there's, a. Uh, some trailers we can save outside Hateno. Yeah. We'll, we'll get the armor first, so. And then right away, we can just... Yeah. We can start pushing just other stuff around the world. Uh, even making our way south, hitting like the jungle area, there's a lot of travelers there. So we can do that. Yeah. Where are ancient weapons low durability? I guess the lore reason is that they're trying to make very powerful weapons, even if they uh, shorthanded themselves in durability. But uh, gameplay-wise, I guess just for balancing. 
they're not too powerful for long periods of time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to come back to that traveler. <laughs> They're knocked out already. Huh. Oh, and yeah, I, I don't mind if the Discord command is not mod lock, by the way. Uh, some commands like that, just like if anyone wants to use it, that's fine. Because that has a cooldown to begin with. Okay, a 10 out at night. It's pretty much where all the survivors are in Hyrule. And with the survivors, well, one of the former soldiers left behind their gear for us. Because look at that right there. All of the soldier armor. Soldier's helmet. This will match. They look really nice. There we go. Frontline soldiers. That's what we are. Just uh, charging everywhere solo. The only helms that remain are those that survive the calamity. Not too many. The armor. Two fifty, not a problem. Being a soldier doesn't pay too well, but luckily the armor isn't that expensive either. <laughs> and the greaves, of course. Then uh. Just put that all on. One, two, and there we are. We are now a fully recognized soldier of Hyrule. And that looks so cool with the uh, the weapons. Wow. We truly are the front man. There's going to be a lot of people to save. Uh, still a lot of traveler packs left. Including one pretty close by. Alright, Joust. Let us commence. Operation Travelers. Save that. We are gonna uh, reload the save so the traveler isn't uh, knocked out. Also, I'm gonna use the restroom again because, yeah, I've been using the restroom like every, like, yeah. <laughs> Oops. I keep drinking tea and water. But I guess it's a good thing because uh, hydrated. Yay. So before we do that, uh, I dropped my controller and it fell very far. Sorry. We'll be right back. Uh, we will let, uh, this time, Onion. Onion will watch the stream. So, he has literally been here forever. Uh, meep. You can barely see the little smile. Yeah, give me another minute. Apologies. And then we will continue. Okay, I'm back. 
Yeah. Onion, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Also need a time to get out some of my congestion too. So, uh... <laughs> I thank you guys for just sticking with me too. Uh, especially yeah, this week. I'm sorry we couldn't stream on Wednesday. Just <sighs> I know I got sick this week and I got sick like two months ago and uh, yeah, it's sick season is not affecting me too well this year. So okay. Now oh, <laughs> I see that cry for help. It's just right here. They need it bad. Oh no! We were too late. Nothing a reload can't help with. <laughs> I would like to help them alive, you know? That's, that's kind of the point. <laughs> there was no time to react to that, come on. These guys are weaklings. They, they could use some armor of their own. Right, joust. Go! Oh, <laughs> not fast enough. It's not a good terrain. Oh, wow. Okay. Spin! Yes! <gasps> Come on! Joust with these guys. Yeah! <laughs> the soldier spear slaps. <laughs> one for you, one for you. Come on. Beat him with the sword. Woo! Oh! The dodge and, uh... Just for you, Bacoblin. Special bomb. Oh, you need another one. Okay. <laughs> He's being greedy. Take it. Take it and run. Ha. <laughs> Very good. Who are you guys? Oh. Nat. Sure showed them. Thank you. I can't afford to hire me as a real bodyguard. I can at least give you this. Well, you know, I can always appreciate a nice warm meal, you know? <laughs> what are you, Megan? We're minding our own business, hunting for truffles, and then wham. Monsters out of nowhere. Aw. <laughs> uh, really need to find those truffles that bad, huh? Is there truffles here? Oh, well, there's truffles here. I mean, I, I I could take a few truffles. A nice delicacy that uh, I really can't afford on my salary as a soldier. Usually only the, the knights afford those. Also, thank you, Orca. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just hate being sick and having to cancel stuff or whatever. Uh, it's just a sucky feeling on top of being sick. First playthrough, you ended up going with the soldier armor and leggings, but the sapphire circlet had a very princely look. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, the circlets are pretty underrated. They add a nice uh, glamour to your outfit that I like, so. Okay, that is traveler pack number two then. It's the two traveler packs out of the 21 around the world. And note we're counting it by packs, because uh, if it was individual travelers, it would be more. Because we saved technically four, but two packs, so. But okay, from there, uh, there's going to be, uh, well, a lot more around the world. But first things first, it'll be nice to also do some armor upgrades, too. Because uh, we've been getting a lot of those materials. And first, Fairy Fountain's just in Kakariko, so we can... Uh, Definitely start with that. I think it's just Bacoblin Guts and uh, Choo Choo Jelly. I believe so. If that's the case, then it's literally no issue. So we got that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. There we go. Where are you? Why are you staring? This is the life. I'm not a traveler. I'm a, 
I'm a soldier. I mean, I guess that's a traveler. <laughs> Considering there's no soldiers left, they can just assume I'm a, a traveler who found soldier gear. <laughs> Long story short, the military's gone. Okay, yeah. Um, I feel like our plan of action, we could probably ride to Kakariko, but I'm going to take a stop to Hestu. Oop. Yeah, we'll take a stop to Hestu first, just to get a couple slots. We'll probably prioritize strictly weapons, because I don't think we're going to have more than four shields at a time and five bows. So yeah, we'll be fine with this. Oh. And then, yeah, we can start out doing more travelers and even getting the horse armor soon will be nice. Uh, just didn't want to hurt Horsey. Okay. Opal. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh my god, he just slapped him! <laughs> He's done with the surprises. Joust is just <laughs> taking on the edge here. Wow. That's incredible. Joust is really just a true player to this. Ooh. <laughs> now, I, I do admit it's a good look, though. <laughs> Having a nice dark royal steed. Wait, actually, you could give me bomb arrows. Is that a good weapon, too? I, I don't know. I don't know what all these are. To be fully honest, I just hope for the best. No. I've probably done that in so many playthroughs, too. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, honestly, Master Mode, there's so many good opportunities for these just nice bundles of arrows. And the archer's all easy to kill, so... Not too bad of a trade-off. Yeah, earlier. Joss gave him the old one, too. It's so easy that way. Gotten all the Koroks uh, twice. We did two 100%s before. One on normal, one on master. I don't know if I'll ever 100% the game again, but that was, <laughs> it was definitely the achievement. Oh, there we go. Ooh, an Amber and an Opal from a uh, base or is pretty good. But yeah. Pretty decent. It all adds up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Joust is not here to kill those birds this time. Sorry, Joust. Joust is carnivorous. <laughs> Having a back and forth. Whoop. Nice. Sling around. I still will get the maracas without a sweat. <laughs> He's just another person that needs saving without being a person, per se. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Rolly Bomb. Does that do anything? It does, actually. Wow. Nice splits. Oh, he's not quite dead. Well, that kind of sucks. Fine. Nope. We messed that up. Get on over. Oh, wow. Whoa, whatever happened there? I don't know. Felt like we got him. Okay. Just need to get these guys off the edge. That was not the intention. Not even going to look at that one. We just know he gets off. <laughs> Boop. Okay, this guy sucks, though. Just kick it down. 
No? Okay. I have a few shots at this. Square may not be the best. Yeah, let's, let's do circular. <laughs> like a little slide. Oh, and that made it worse for ourselves. <laughs> Here, it's okay. One more shot. We got this. Oh, tree on him? Ah. <laughs> we, de we decreased his playing field, though. Why am I even doing that? Keep going. There we go. Get the strat. I don't want to have... Don't make me come down there. You know what? Fine. He's making me use it. Yeah. <laughs> Pathetic boar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See, being resourceful is, uh, <laughs> it's always a great idea. There we go. <laughs> when rolly bombs don't do the trick, uh, <laughs> attach a bomb to your arrow and you get more range. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to have to come down there. I'm not his mom. I'm not going to school him like that. Nah. He got the long range beats. There we go. Maracas. And probably just all weapon. I don't know how many seeds we actually have. Five? Okay. You can just two for weapons really good. I don't know if we'll do more in the run. I mean, I mean, possibly. The option will be there. But just handy, nonetheless. I don't use too many extra slots in these runs. Because we usually cycle pretty quickly. I think you're the only person who doesn't like using Druk's protection. It just stops the wind bombs. I didn't even think of that. I I guess it would, wouldn't it? I always just turn Druk's protection off, so. <laughs> oh, wait. Nah. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Now, Kakariko, let's do the fairy fountain. Because that'll be very handy. Oh. Joust is so ready. Ready? Ready? Okay. Come to me. Slide. Whoa. Oh, nope. <laughs> I guess that wasn't ready that time. Sorry, goat. <laughs> Not even staring into you. You just, you stared into me. Okay. If there's any like gem deposits, I'll stop to get those. There's a chance of just being a rock salt, but... Topaz! Not quite. Does Topaz come in that color now? <laughs> Will I do another Ancient Test of Strength? Maybe in the future sort of thing. I got most of my enjoyment out of it already during that one stream, the mod. Maybe we'll do like... We'll try like a round of it after like another stream in the future. Who knows? <laughs> All right, Kakariko Village. I'm just here for the ferry. The first of four on the world. Also the least expensive to uh, buy out. But that's fine. Ooh. Come on, you can keep going. It checks out. I, I think we're okay. Yeah. It's not super fast. They casually ignores a hurt person laying on the floor. They can help themselves. They're Shika, you know. They, they got the, the fancy stuff. I'm here for the travelers. There we go. And plus, part of being the military. 
in Hyrule is only helping people that you're told to help. So, there we go. It's awesome. And more. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that'll prevent some nice deaths. <laughs> I, I guess I'll listen to your story, because I'm forced to. We barely have the rupees. First one. Ugh. I was trying to think of how many it requires. I think it's three of each for the choo choo jelly, the goblin guts. But let's see. Yeah, we should have enough for a slight enhancement. We just got the armor, so it'll be a nice step up. Uh, <laughs> choo choo jelly, perfect. Actually, the Bacoblin department is what we need more of. But yeah, these things, uh, even on top of Moblin Guts, Lizelfos Guts, uh, even higher tier enemies like Hinox and uh, Lionel stuff we'll need too. So I guess we'll just start with one, but uh, let's try to prioritize more kills going forward then. We have some of the later stuff, but uh, not quite even the Boko yet. But it's fine, we don't have to do it all now. We can't do it all anyways until we have the four fountains. Mm. So in the meantime, let's just go around the world some more, help out some travelers, get some more parts, and uh, see what else we can do. Oh, I have to sell the trousers. Okay, um, we have the shrine. Next good stop. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff uh, actually in like the lake and like jungle region. So uh, let's just do that. Um, wait, I want to say the best way to do that is. Uh... If we warp here, you get our horse at the stable here, wrap around. I feel like that could work because I'm pretty sure there's a soldier. Ooh, actually, yeah, there's some stuff I can do here, too. Uh, I know there's a Hinox over there that we need. Ooh. Sell the trousers, we will. The Coliseum will go to that. Uh, not right away. The stuff there is going to be pretty hard. I'm going to wait a short minute to do that first. But even just regardless of which direction we go into... Uh, you know, just unlocking the war points helps. Get a checkpoint or progress in any corner of the map. Is the challenge also collecting soldier stuff? No. Because uh, there's way too much soldier stuff to keep track of. Okay. Back on the plateau for a second. It's not why I'm here. Because one of those big platforms. The good thing about being a soldier is that uh, you can find your weapons just about everywhere. Because there's a lot of remnants of the past military around Hyrule. Fortunately, this guy is just one of many relics of that. Because, hmm. I think you attack one of my past friends. <laughs> oh, not you. <laughs> That's a friend from a different region. Uh, these ones, there we go. <laughs> Get that stuff. Sorry, Moonlight. But uh, this guy really quarrels. <laughs> oh no. Knock him out, oh wow. I didn't even mean to use that. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's a big hit sponge. I don't know how we're gonna fare. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't expect to fight all, all the battles here. 
Whoa! Ooh. Bentley damage, that's not good. This is going to be a tricky one. With no attack up is <laughs> not the most ideal. Okay, <laughs> hit sponge. Ah! He's partying without me. It's only a party if I win this one. Okay, don't step on me. Good. Uh, oh. Wait, drop a bomb. Do you want that? They're pretty fun. Uh, all right. Time to get fired here. Dance for me. <laughs> He's the court jester now. Oh. Doesn't work unless we actually hit the eye. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Gonna go with the bang. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> very disorientated. Get those critical hits. Yes. Nice. Do it again. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> so happy I got the bombs. He's literally completely knocked out from that. Come on. More criticals. And finisher. Yes. I knocked down. <laughs> we need this bad. Because this shows the mark of a hero. With specifically these guts. Because we're going to need the guts to upgrade this set at a future level. So that is the first of actually quite a few Hinox kills. But at least he had weapons on his neck to uh, replenish. So it makes it worth it in that regard. Poor Hinox was just living his life. Yeah. He was living an e evil life, just killing soldiers in the past. He probably just ate one and then just wore his weapons as jewelry, so... He deserves that. He doesn't get a rest after that. Revenge. Well, these guys don't have bombs. They do have bombs, okay? <laughs> don't shoot me, please. Okay. That is a one shot. I'm not having that. <laughs> and those guys are no too. Shrek is now dead. <laughs> yeah. I know there's no map of the soldier weapons. I just typed the word soldier on the optic map and they all come up. I'll make maps for runs where the weapons are uh, not as plentiful. But since you can find soldier weapons in so many different places, I didn't really care to make one. Because then the map would be very congested too. First stream, welcome. And thank you. <laughs> Favorite run of mine is the Gerudo one. That one was so fun. And we started just over there too, yeah. Tons of Gerudo weapons right off the plateau. Okay, um... Actually, really quick. While we're here, I'm just going to nab the war point before taking our horse. That should work just fine. <laughs> the fox is running alongside me. Yeah. It's, it's okay, I don't have to be scared. Joust is in here. Okay, take that. And then... Take the horsey. The horsey's fine. Phase <laughs> right through. Mm. Okay. Take horse. Joust. We'll get his stats up too. And pretty soon we'll get him his armor, because that's actually going to be in the lake region as well. Figure out the sooner the better, for sure. What challenge runs am I doing for the future? In terms of ideas, um, 
well, I'm not gonna be able to do all of them before Tears comes out, but uh, eventually doing stuff like, well, a lot of the other bases we didn't cover, so like stuff like Yiga, um, stuff like Korok, stuff revolving around the Barbarian set, so those three runs eventually will be a thing. Those are really all I kind of have penciled in because I didn't want to plan too much uh, before or after Tears comes out because I'm going to be doing a lot with that game. So we'll do at least one more run after this before Tears, though. That's the goal. Okay. So now we got to trek around. Yeah, eventually we'll have to go back here and do the Coliseum, which will be fun. I'm just going to look it up what's... uh in the lake region really quick because for traveler packs there's actually quite a few yeah there's like four that we can knock out uh within the kind of this next section here before any major warping so i do want to do that so i'll bump that counter to six right away and in between that yeah we can do that uh that mini game for the horse armor because there is uh yeah, it's like the Knights mini game that's uh, just south of Lake Tower. It's where you get the the knight armor for the horse. So we will have to do that. And in between there, um, any loose killing we can do and whatnot. It'll work. <laughs> At this point, everyone has their eyes set on the sequel. Yeah. Very, very excited. Also, I'm sure we need more Moblin Guts. We only have two. Always a good idea to have more Guts. Oh. We can still get, like, one-shot whack, maybe. Okay. You keep doing that. <laughs> we can just get Joust kills, too. Save on weapon durability a bit. These guys aren't even guaranteed, so maybe I'm going to save off on them. Because <laughs> we will be killing silvers for uh, good parts later. Obviously the monster materials, but also uh, gemstones. Obviously we'll find more weapons. That won't be too much of an issue. We'll make it work. <laughs> we always tend to. Yeah, next traveler pack is going to be up ahead. The Hyanox just slaughtered a lot of her weapons from her inventory. Yeah. <laughs> Some extra guts in case mine stop working. Oh, sorry, bird. Again, that's joust. That's joust for you. Sorry, horsey. And yeah, the minigame is going to be pretty tough up ahead. Not the easiest. I can agree to that, too. Ooh, guts. Yes. 23 arrows. Okay. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Get out, get out, get out. Okay. <laughs> Close one. Oh, he just stopped. It's okay, Joust needs more love. We know that's important. Uh, bomb arrow guys don't see me. Can't really collect your uh, arrows easily, so... Ignore it and void. I think... Wait. Did the chest have something good in here? No, Zora weapon. I thought there was a thing here. Maybe I'm lying to myself. <laughs> no. Amber in the cart, though. <laughs> I don't know why that works, but it does. You know, I think it was under the bridge. Is it worth it going under the bridge? No. Let's try it, though. If we go here... Tree branch. Korok. <laughs> Voila. That's a very uh, deceptive one. I, 
could have sworn. What sort of weapon was that? <laughs> Wait, I have my object map up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for a second. Uh. Yeah, it, it was here. I'm, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> We're gonna save right there. Or is it in the water itself? Yeah, I literally think it's that chest in the water. That's fine. Drown for a second. Just so we're back on solid ground. We can easily climb back up. That's not a problem. Also, stop blinking because I don't like the blinks. There we go. Under here? Yeah. <laughs> nice little secret loot stash. Very secret. Shock arrows? Sure. And, of course, we'll take that. What are you? What? <laughs> Do we just swap it out? <laughs> Guess so. There's a lot of loot, actually. Oh, <laughs> get out of there. What are you? Another broadsword. There we go. <laughs> Will be some nice Hinox fodder. Yeah, I just <laughs> I trade it off. And this guy is ah <laughs> a very good weapon. So sorry, we can't have that. Okay. Now that we have that, we can easily just drain our stamina just to go back up. <laughs> It's like a quick teleport up when you don't have the travel medallion. Because look, we're back almost at the top. Perfect. Say so whenever you want to go go low on something, as long as you're not standing on solid ground to do it, the fish in, in the bottom, the stamina drain method works wonders. There we go. Where's our horse? There he is. Joust, let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> well, he did something. <laughs> I don't know how or what, but he did it. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> Bail out. Okay. There is another pack somewhere over there in that kind of direction. Like the edge of the jungle by that one shrine. It's pretty close. Low health notification in Breath of the Wild is better than the beeping in every other game. Yeah. Because especially for this, you had to tone down a lot of the just very blatant stuff. Like, you know, the subject of like overall music. Like, they can't have charging overall music in the same way that if your health's slow, they can't just have a constant blinking noise. So, every aspect of the game is more subtle in that way. So, like, when you're at low health, it's more subtle. It's nice. And yeah, welcome everyone. Also, yeah, thanks for being here this weekend. Just like, you know, just uh, being able to do this. And I guess the nice thing about this is just like, obviously with anything, there's anything you could be doing. So the fact that you chose to just watch the streams here or just I, or participate in anything here is really awesome. So I do appreciate it a lot. And just wanted to really say thanks. Also, that leaf was very funny. Okay. Hmm. It's not that. Ha. I think I see him. 
Let's get the shrine for that warp. Well, not before we do that. I see these travelers. Just barely. <laughs> but you're over this hill, aren't you? Help! Ah! We'll help! <laughs> oh! Oh, nice! You actually attack back! Here. We're gonna prime the fight for you, okay? We'll freeze them. Now you do damage. Hit them! Yeah! Hit them out! <laughs> now for the next one. There we go. Oh, it's a, it's a black bacabla. I wasn't expecting that. Next one has to go for it. Wait. Stealth strike. Ah. Come on. Hit him. No, you missed. You're so close. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> I just heard a shatter sound effect behind me. Oh, nice. Come on, keep attacking, blocking. Yeah, do it. You're doing great. There we go. Hit him some more. Oh, Joust? You went around too? Oh, that wasn't good. That's better though. Keep going. You know what? Fine. One finisher. Shock orb. Huge damage. There we go. <laughs> Killing these guys creatively. Also, you drop like no loot. Shame. <laughs> You're fine? Hi, Ty. It's a miracle that I stepped in to save you. Let's do this much for you. Ooh, more food. We gotta actually use the food soon. I suppose no place in Hyrule is safe anymore. Not even the settlements. All the more reason for you to redouble your training in order to help his beloved. <laughs> Maybe you'll become a knight like me. Where is your beloved? Hello. Oh, running back. <laughs> hey, you had a camp and everything. Sorelia? You're traveling in search of a flower known as the Silent Princess. Ooh, we might pluck one for ourselves. We do the risk of roaming the countryside with monsters about, but he insisted on accompanying Ty. Yeah. Well, you kind of overcame it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, your husband was kind of kicking ass, honestly. So, <laughs> that was pretty great. Very good. Okay, that is a third traveler down. Okay, we don't need... Do we need more keys parts? I don't know, actually. Well, wouldn't hurt to nab them. I think we do. <laughs> Okay. Oop. Okay, I guess next step. There's spicy peppers here for whatever reason. Usually it's only in the cold areas, but to each their own. Okay, before we continue though, I think we're gonna go to uh well, the place where we can get some armor for this guy, because although there's more travelers in the jungle. There is some nice armor for him over here. Oh, <laughs> you got this. Oh, well, hey, 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 stop. <laughs> Dude's just snoring over there. Stop. <laughs> He's just on the step. Okay. That was how not to ride a horse. Hey. Right, Susanna. Where are you headed? To the south, I guess. Fair and grassland. Uh, lost a best friend. Okay. <laughs> Revive lost horses, if that ever happens. Let's hope it doesn't. Also, we do need to get the bond up a bit. Oops. <laughs> I let my hand go with the controller for one second. And chaos breaks loose. Oh, sorry, horsey. I meant for the boko. 
Yeah, we will have to kill higher tier ones too, because uh, blue enemies don't drop their guts very often. Okay, Highland Stable, not here, but I do want to nag the warp point. Because I like having them. Oh, <laughs> not like that, Joust. Sorry. I slipped to the wall, though. And yeah, where we get the armor is going to be a mini game that's just to the west. There we go. Slew them up. Also, that stable's going to be good because uh, we need a place to put the armor on. Yeah, we gotta do our nice spitties because they're because they're fun. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Love the spit attack. I gotta say, it will be very nice to advance the night stuff later. So, for those more recently tuning in, uh, the main objectives for this first part of the run is to save the twenty-one traveler packs in the world, also max out our armor and get horse armor. Once we do all those things, uh, the run will switch over to the night run, in which those, there's just going to be two objectives, which is clearing the Akala Citadel and the finale. So, night stuff will come later. But in the meantime, we're rocking this pretty well. Okay, we're almost there. Lake Tower. How we get the armor is just, uh, well... By reasons of winning it. Through these guys. Mounted archery camp. Oh. Hello. We're actually going to save. Thank you, General Links, for the gifted sub. <laughs> how confident are, how confident are, are my, uh, in my ability to fight on horseback? Okay, I'm pretty confident on horseback combat. <laughs> Got skills to back it up. I guess we'll see. Nothing's more dangerous than a man who thinks he can handle the worst, only to fall apart when the time comes. <laughs> yeah, literally us. Uh, <laughs> at least so far. But we kind of prevail. Uh, I'm game. Bow and arrows, yes. Uh, I will buy. This is actually a really good place to get arrows in the game. Uh, <laughs> we need a bit more funds. Um, so let's sell some stuff first. I think we have just enough to sell. Oh, wait. We have nothing to sell. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, we do. I was like, ooh, good. Yeah, let's buy... Could buy a lot. 50 arrows for 175 rupees. That is a steal. <laughs> like straight up. I'm gonna buy the five bundles too. I can only buy four of them though. But still, 92 arrows, wow. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, that should be enough for the game. I'm gonna save first though. Oh, wait, there's a 20 rupee fee, too. Sell, so, uh, just like a... I don't know. I literally just need 5 rupees. Okay, it's safe. Because if we fail the minigame, we can just restart. Because, uh... It'll be a lot of bow durability that we don't have, you know? So, it makes the most sense. Okay. Let's do it. 20 rupees. Just enough. Okay, this is going to be pretty tricky because uh, <laughs> a lot of the targets are pretty far and we're in a pretty tight time crunch.
Okay. Break more than 20 targets and you'll hand over the horse gear. Okay. Only 20 targets? We can do that. With many methods. Uh, archery, you say, right? Wait. Why that play out differently in my head? What? Oh, you can't actually. <laughs> uh, I really thought you could actually do that. Wait, can you do this? No. <laughs> They're really adamant on the, them. That and the balloons are very specific. Uh, <laughs> let's reload that save. Sorry, I never tried that before. I thought I was slick. I, I really did. <laughs> Ugh. Not that slick, no. Wait, we don't need that? Okay. Guess we gotta waste all more bow durability then. <laughs> Oops. Uh, game. I keep clicking all the wrong prompts in the world. So it's A, then B, then A. You can't just spam A, what do you mean? Okay. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Guess we gotta. Just 20 of them. Nothing crazy beyond that. Take it slow and steady. Oh. Okay, first miss. That, that's bound to happen eventually. We have seven. Seven's good. Oh, now we gotta really get uh, off course for these guys. Oh, my horse is freaking out. I did not max bond you yet. <laughs> what? I thought we did a lot better. 14, what? <laughs> Only one way to do this. Three, two, one. Oh no, 19! <laughs> uh, I didn't count that. Yeah, just arrows, okay. Uh, <laughs> Reloading that because uh, a little, a little icky. Well, that was a pretty good first run though. Now let's miss none of them. <coughs> Man. You always freak out when you do this and miss everything. That's fair. It's a tricky challenge. <coughs> Sorry, first things first. Yeah, I'm gonna... Max spawn this guy. You deserve a joust. L for lost. Very. Okay, that should be enough apples. No, right there. There we go. Save. I don't know why I just did that twice, but I did. I'm game to drill. No bow arrows. All right. <laughs> By the way, we have to do this twice. Uh, second time's harder, but it's fine. It's okay. We are a bowman. An expert of the stick and... Uh, String. Oh. It's okay. We gotta hit like one target every three seconds. Like, that's basically what this means. Okay. No casual riding, just competitive riding. We must get this. Okay. Uh, that for you and that for you. Perfect. 
Oh, uh, what's next? They are next. Okay. It's raining. Oh, well, that means I can't use bomb arrows. Great. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Well, I can't get them all. <laughs> that sucks. I could have got them all if there was, it was not raining. Why does that have to rain during this challenge? <laughs> Bomb arrows to orc in the rain. There we go. Yeah, got some fire in me. Uh, best archers say targets seem to freeze when they concentrate on them. In a way. But with that, the knight's bridle, there it is. <laughs> Hyrulean knights once outfitted their horses with this bridle. Boasts additional armor to protect the horse's head and neck. Very good. <laughs> we'll put this on after the challenge. Because... We still need to get the, the actual armor piece. We'll have to get a little more funds for that first. So let's save up right there. Okay. <laughs> Looking to drill. Oh. Yeah, I, my horse is right here. Come on. Okay, I'm game. Uh, I'll sell some stuff so I can get the re the <laughs> entry fee covered. Which, ooh, we can actually sell some of the stuff that uh, we got as a reward. I know it was meant for our bellies, but it's helping our cause regardless. Um... Sorry, Risotto, I'm not feeling the rice today. I don't want to get bloated. We have we have athletic stuff to do, so. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> we got to do it even better this time. Yeah, if we get too bloated, we may not fit in the armor, so, uh, <laughs> Risotto's not the best. It's not the best course right now. Uh, not really. Okay. So now I need, like, 25. Come on. It's not raining, which is good. Badly damaged, that sucks. <laughs> oh. Guess we gotta use our attack up bow. It's fine, it's only attack up three. <laughs> like that matters. There we go. Safely but surely. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on, so close. What? Oh, you're kidding me. Just, no. Ugh. Damn it. I was really concentrating. Okay. Pretty good run. Uh, Pretty good, you know. It, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect. Yeah, I, I <laughs> that reward is a disservice to me. Okay. Sorry, reload that. I know we have to resell the risotto, but that's fine. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Um, at least it wasn't raining that time, but let's hope it does end in the next time. Yeah, we could use a bomb arrow for like one of them, maybe. Like some of the close to. It's really only like that one other one that takes a bomb arrow. Because the rest are further apart. 
Okay. Uh, sell. We'll sell the risotto once more. Yeah. Can't be bloated. Need to fit in our armor. Uh, yeah. If I lose again, I owe you a corn dog. If I win, you'll buy me one. I really want a corn dog, so yay. <laughs> Okay, we need to be fast, speedy, vigilant, uh, and precise, and, uh, bowman. Here we go. Thank you, Reckless. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. Takes a while to get off the ground. Once we are, it's a good feeling. That. Ah. Oh, sh- Yeah! Damn it. <laughs> of course, we start with the mist, too. You get all 25 targets for this next one. Come on, slow draw, but it does the trick. Uh, yep, that one's always a pain. Nope. 15 seconds, about the same as last time. Damn it! <sighs> okay. I owe a corn dog. That was tricky. Damn it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can sell the trousers. I totally forgot about that. Damn it. Okay. Uh stop. Hey, Joust, it's okay. <laughs> Corn dog obtained. Yeah. Good for you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Once more, come on. We got this. Bye. Wait, no, what am I doing? Sell the risotto. Sell the pants at the next full cell stop. Cause uh Okay. Back out. We're gonna save right here. Can we need twenty all twenty-five? <laughs> Giving you PTSD from the from your attempts, so no. <laughs> We're getting pretty close though. So I would say it's pretty good. Usually I use better range bows, but <laughs> no handicaps, just pure skill. <laughs> and it's all we can use, just a soldier bow. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Got off to a slow start, old Met. It's fine, it's fine. Just be razor precise. Very good. Oh. Okay, just... I choke up the next section a lot because it's easy to choke up. No other excuse, just that. If we get it, that's legendary, yes! <laughs> okay. Oh wait, there's, oh crap, there's ones on this side? What the, what the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, get it! Bomb arrow! Do it for Bobby! Yes, all 25! With time remaining. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hit him with that bobby bomb at the end. That's the only way to do it. Go, Bobby, go. Go, Bobby, go. Yeah. This gift is my thanks for putting on a good show. I'm past needing it, and I think you should have it. <laughs> Night Saddle, there we go. We got it. <laughs> only the most elite among them were allowed to outfit their mounts with it. And now we get it. We're not even the proper rank, but for Joust, he deserves it. A Joust has so much more battle experience than us, so he's been in the wild for so long. 
in reality, we're just accompanying him. So, <laughs> go joust, go. <laughs> Guess he also owe me a corn dog. Yes. <laughs> well, there we go. Well, now with this awesome knight's armor, only thing to do, save our game, of course. We can warp to this stable, which is why we got that warp point, and we can equip it. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. The master bow. <laughs> Save all the travelers, yes. There's going to be like three more right away. Just two in the jungle, one right past the jungle. So that'll be an easy boom, bap, bop. <laughs> Okay. The cows. Hey. Take horse. Joust, of course. Oh, we got that green screen corner. Yeah, I'll fix that in a second. I gotta use the restroom again, so I'll fix that when we yeah. got that. Okay. All right, all right. All right, all right. First time here? Definitely not. Oh wait, no. Wrong person. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're not taking your we're not taking care of your cobble problem. We're not paid to do that. Uh, <laughs> a soldier's wage is already poor enough as it is, so. You take care of that, but uh good luck. We have a set amount of travelers to save. All right. <laughs> yes, please. Lots of love. Oh, of course. Joust gets all the love and apples. All right. Main is good. Keep it organic. The bridal? Gotta go with the knights. There we go. <laughs> nice and knightly. And, uh... For the saddle? Oh, of course. There we go. Full body armor. Matching us. There we go. Joust. Prepared for the full on joust now. Look at that. <laughs> we shine together. Let's talk about a glow up here. There we go. <laughs> wow. That's last. We can joust you or anything. He has that extra armor now. Which is funny, because actually the armor doesn't provide any, like, actual in-game armor. It's totally aesthetic, so. But it looks awesome, so yeah. Let's go save some more travelers and, and kill everything. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no, not like that. And thank you so much, uh... Is that period... Is that period lover, I think? I, I, I... I'm sorry, I pronounce things bad. Uh, thank you for the Prime sub. <laughs> I know I say names again and again wrong. Uh, sorry. About just everything, though. One second, let me save. I'm going to use the restroom. Uh, so we will give the stream rights to Bobby again. So there we go. Bobby's just kicking it. I'll fix my green screen. Okay. Bing. <laughs> I will see you guys in like, just give me a minute and then, um, yeah, we'll be off.
<laughs> returning thanks bobby bobby streams are awesome <laughs> yes okay one moment specifically with the the soldier weapons i don't think there's too much soldier stuff in the jungle uh if i just were to check really quick it looks pretty dry um actually by the tower the Farron tower there's gonna be one that we need um so i'm gonna nab that Okay. Sorry, I just kind of wanted to make sure, because, like, it is important. Very important. Okay. Yeah. Oh, with that said, we can we can go. Sorry, I just had to look at my object map for a second, so. <laughs> we are doing good. As long as we occasionally get the, uh, the nice, uh, weapons. Or replenish well. When I guess by the Farron Tower, too, there is another Hinox and the Lionel. Which we do need, so. Might as well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, why not? Have a nice little trip planned out for us. <laughs> Where's Baby Floyd? Baby Floyd isn't here right now. I think you have Baby Floyd, Viv. <laughs> Ooh, archers, actually. Uh, actually, I'm going to save off on that. Oh, ow. <laughs> Realize that we don't need more arrows. We need more bows, so... Shooting them is kind of pointless. Okay, let's eat a steak. Or chicken leg, yeah. <laughs> right in front of Cass, we ate that chicken leg, I just realized. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I believe the guys are pretty much close to the tower, so we'll... Until we get there, nothing much we can do. I do really want to get another bow, but that won't come for a little, little bit. Also, bananas are helpful. When aren't they? Bananas are just prime. Avoid them. I know the travelers are nearby. I mean, YouTube like the videos. Thank you. Go on, I'm streaming today. Having software problems and need some good vibes while I troubleshoot. Well, thank you, and hopefully that works out well. Oh, there they are. Or just the one, I, I assume. <laughs> it's usually been pairs. What's he doing traveling alone? Should never travel alone in Hyrule. Even me, I got joust, you know? Oh. This Picoblin is being dumb. He doesn't even see me? What? Yeah, I just pushed him. Oh, now he saw me. Where's your logic, Picoblin? I'm afraid you don't have any. Okay, we'll do it again. Spear spin. Oh, there we go. <laughs> joust kicked it right into my spear. The epic joust. There we go. Stun him up a bit. Uh, 
I don't want to drain too much durability on a lonely Bacoblin. Wait a second. Is their friend perished? Ah, uh, they are. <laughs> Never mind. They were traveling in a pack. Well, damn it. I got to come back till he get back up. <laughs> Because sadly, uh, yeah, if they perish, we have to reload because that defeats the point, sadly. <laughs> Restart the encounter. <laughs> Sometimes he die just off screen. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, these guys aren't even fighting back. <laughs> Come on, I know you can do it. You know what? Actually, come over here. You see me, guys? Yeah. Lure him over. We gotta let the environment have a hand at this. Nature, do your thing. Get water bathed. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't like water. You should learn from your friend. But you're not. That's why you're a bacoblin. Well, okay. Wait, actually, I'm going to take that, those guts because the guts are nice. Uh, please? <laughs> please, guts? Thank you. There we go. They are very handy. I guess we could just drown. Yeah, let's just drown. <laughs> okay. Travelers are saved. <laughs> we need the guts for upgrading the soldier armor, so. Oh, oh, there's the guys. Let's go get our reward. <laughs> are you fighting my reward? Hey, it's you guys again, the hearty truffle people. Hearty truffles aren't your run-of-the-mill mushrooms you find growing on half the trees in the forest. They're gourmet treat. So they're still trying to find those truffles from uh, Hateno Village. <laughs> Oh, Nat. There's no reward without risk, right? <laughs> Trying to make it sound like we care so much about the money. Yeah. We just saved your butt. <laughs> and you're not practicing fighting when you're just dying. <laughs> I don't even get a reward this time. <laughs> if you wait too long with talking to them, they don't give you the re reward. Because, uh... Guess he just forgot about the whole spiel. You guys wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. <sighs> but I guess being a hero has its own reward. Oh well. Another pack done. <laughs> it's not like we needed any more risotto. But... It still helps with our rank. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next stop's the tower. Um, I'm probably gonna try to pull off a wind bomb. I am very demanding. <laughs> Deserve good payout for my hard work. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Cause we're already getting good stuff through through the adventure itself. So it's, it works out plentiful. <laughs> Oop, and that was a not good one. So we will reload that. <laughs> so it is better. Over here, uh, it is a better wind bomb pillar. Yeah, that one specifically, actually. You can still do baby climbs when you're out of stamina. Hmm. Also, getting bananas here. Oop. Okay. We'll try one more. 
after we eat. <laughs> Meat. Do your thing. Like three more seconds. Uh, I'm actually going to turn a little bit in case the angle is bad. Okay, we're just going to reload that. <laughs> And yeah, I never care too much about the rewards, especially with like, even like mini games and stuff, unless it's like exclusive stuff, like the horse stuff. But uh, it's fun in this context. Oh, I just, I just stopped climbing for some reason. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, you know, I guess I don't have to wind bomb. There's literally a path right there. Yeah. Why do I bother? <laughs> we only try. Zero successful wind bombs this run. <laughs> By the looks of it. Any nice fruits of the labor here? Mushroom. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the one. And then I need an Octo Balloon for the platform. Or also Key Swarm. Uh... Oh, that almost got me. I think I still need more Keys parts. Here. I don't know if they drop eyeballs, all these swarms. There we go. Do we even get any eyeballs? I don't think so. Is there a chance of? Who knows? Mighty stuff is nice, so. Even in weaker selection. Oh. <laughs> that was a huge mess. Okay, get the balloon. There's no balloon. <laughs> I need the balloon to lift the stuffs, the platforms. Ooh! Parried on the second. Very nice. Okay. There we go. Just the balloon works. Yeah. <laughs> but not that one. Uh, it would actually be that one. Okay. Okay, do your thing. Oh, not that. <gasps> hey! He busted my bubble! <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> My ego deflated. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, why, why do I keep bringing it out early? <laughs> I don't know. Just, just do it again. There we go. That works pretty well. <laughs> the wind is let up. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. And just over here, we should find something decent. Well, Durians are pretty decent. <laughs> but I do want to get the tower first, actually. Power is the most handy. Okay. Good? <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, before we fight the, the Lionel and the Hinox up there, I do want to make some attack boosting stuff, because uh, I don't want to go in without it. It doesn't seem very smart. And yeah, the wind under there, that's my my preferred method of climbing the tower. It makes it so much easier, because you don't have to deal with uh, the long climb or the, the whiz robe, too. So that's good. <laughs> All the helpful stuff.
Oh, see, I'm pretty sure it's down there the soldier weapon actually exists. <laughs> I just didn't realize at first. We need anything we can get. I don't want the shrine sensor. <laughs> no, no continuous beeps, please. Also, this stream's already been going on for like over three hours. I, I just now noticed. I don't know, I've just been kind of going. We'll still go for a while. I don't plan on stopping soon. Uh, no, this is very fun, so. Okay, uh, up there is going to be uh, a Hinox and a Lionel that we can kill for parts. It'll be very helpful, but first I do actually want to go down here. One thing we forgot. Where's our soldier weapon? We need another bubble, don't we? I think it's in this one. Nope, not quite. <laughs> oh, why am I wasting all my hits when I... Yep, I should've just commit to a bigger one from the start. I'm, re I'm reloading. <laughs> I I'm reloading, I'm sorry. We wasted all of our weapon durability. Sorry, if I if only I had another Octo Balloon. We killed three Octoroks and only got two balloons. One of them got blown up by another Octorok. So really not the best of luck here. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, yucky. Is that really it? Is that... Oh, no, there's one more Octorok. Okay. Please give me a balloon or two. Or two more, actually. Ooh. Very reflective. <laughs> this pod. Oh. A little too high there. He just woke up. He's, he's still a sleepy brain. Okay. <laughs> now he has rot brain. Oh, there we go. Um. Okay, there's mushrooms. I think it's this platform. That's what I was getting at. There we go. A nice shield from us. And... A nice sword for us, too. A soldier's claymore. A two-handed sword designed for combat. Heavy and hard to use, but has decent build quality and durability. Well, there we go. I think that's actually, uh... Yeah, that completes everything. Uh, a claymore sword, spear, bow, and shield. So there we go. <laughs> the full set with the soldier armor. It's very nice. Wielding that, yeah. A nice power weapon of sorts. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, he can do his dance, uh... This is a dance of sorts, too. Okay. Or well, we're getting out, so. <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> Three hours, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad it's been fun, so thank you. <laughs> um I guess, yeah, if we go upwards. Wait, I don't really have good attack food yet. Um Actually, yeah, let me hit the stable first. I think that's a nice next objective. Yeah, so before we do the Lionel and uh, Hinox, let's get the stable because there's some bananas by there. Oh, hi. There we go. Ow! Okay, didn't do a lot of damage, fortunately. Oh, there's silver enemy, which I don't like. Oh, wait, sneak strike. That's still not gonna work. He has too much health. 
to do that safely at least. Arrow, okay. Then I want you, bomb it down. There we go. <laughs> Break it apart. It's just a tree. Sideways chest. <laughs> ah, that's a cool one though. Damn. <laughs> okay, let's take our bananas. A lot of bananas on these higher reaches. Okay, uh, <laughs> some more up here. I think there is. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Six bananas is pretty good. For now, we'll we'll get more up there. By the. Lionel. <laughs> More banana. Okay. Each one of these trees is like a potion we can make. Or food. Attack up food. Okay, there's also some back here, I believe. There is indeed, okay. There we go. Shrine for the warp, as always. And then... Keep on going. Okay. Yeah, we don't really need that yet. We'll eventually make our way east to do two more travelers on the path. But, uh... Okay, really quick, let the stable. Do three bananas and, uh... Thistle, because we have that. Nice. Nice level three attack buff. 50% more damage. And also from earlier, if we do, uh, wait. Oh, we can't quite do that. Uh... We can do some long duration ones by doing two bananas. Wait a second. Yeah, if we did th three bananas. A bladed rhino beetle? So it's gonna be an elixir, but we can mix that with a... Uh, hmm. I'm fine with the gut. We'll, we'll get more guts, don't worry. If we did it this way, it could actually be a bit better. Yeah, there we go. Same amount of time, or it's the same buff, but almost double the amount of time. Because elixirs generally last longer. So, yeah, that's actually a good way to stretch the effectiveness. Do it again. Thinking the plateau for these bladed rhinos. Yeah, we'll get more Boku Guts, it's fine. <laughs> There we go. And then just one more of those. Okay. Yeah, two uh, lower duration attack buffs and two uh, higher ones. And both level three too. So, very good. Okay, it's safe here. Now let's take this into uh, our next fight, just up ahead. Gotta fight a Hinox and uh, our first Lionel, so I'm excited. And then once we do like everything on like this side of the world, um, soon after I do want to charge a Coliseum, so that'll be fun to do. My chat's bugging out for some reason. I, th I think it's okay. Okay. Sometimes just oddness happens on my end. Okay. Might need to get more bows for fighting the Lionel. That's, that's possible. I think we are high durability though, because the soldier bow has like 30. Yeah, between the, the Lionel and the Hyanox. Let me look where I can get a quick and easy bow. Uh, T 
there is one kind of deep into the jungle. Yeah, but that's pretty... There's one we can get after the fight. That's that's where I'm kind of engaged to right now. But before the fights, uh, ooh, yeah, that's that's a good one. <laughs> we could try to suck it up, maybe. Let, let, let's see how far we can get. Honestly. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. We're just gonna use prioritize more like bomb arrows, because I'm sure we still have some good use with this. Okay, <laughs> screw it. Also, I know we could have cooked up the hardy, but we did not. Oh, hi, Keys. <laughs> See, I don't know how many more Keys things I need. Oh, the thing with my chat is like sometimes it literally just scrolls up and scrolls down randomly. It's very weird sometimes. Oh, oh wow. Where'd he come from? You took the Lizzle's weapon? No. Oh. oh, I guess they're sharing, so. Oh, just wrapped around to dodge that. Pretty, pretty tactful. Here. Bomb for the keys. There we go. And for the... Yeah. Everyone. Sharing. Oh! There we go. <laughs> Having a great time here. Okay. How do we make it up there easily? Trick question. We can't. Uh, but eventually, we, we will make it up. Pretty sure the Lionel will one-shot me even with extra hearts. That's possible, so. <laughs> I'm not sure which Lionel it's going to be, because uh, I don't know where it starts. Because it won't be tiered up, but it'll still be higher, because it probably starts higher. It might be a... It could even be a, just a blue Lionel. Who knows? I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, after this we can get some more stuff, though. I'm awaiting that. <clears throat> Blue Hinox. Okay. Not as bad. As long as we can get... As long as we can get good stuff, then uh, I'm not worried. Sorry. <laughs> Closer save, because I'm picky. Yeah, we only got this one bow for it. Has a bit of durability taken, so we'll have to conserve it for sure. But in the meantime, uh, let's go with that uh, six minute thirty elixir. All right, attack up. Go for a nice side surprise. There we go. Woo! Badly damaged, but good damage though, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he has a lot of health. Uh-oh. A lot of health. A lot of health. There we go. Okay. Uh, does he have night weapons on his thing? He does. I don't, that's not stuff I can take, is it? Damn, that's night stuff. <laughs> ah. Maybe later. Uh-oh. Woo! I don't like that one. Oh, the fire. Go upwards. Hit him again. Yes. I did something. Okay. Well. Maybe we'll come back for the night stuff later. But we're not that rank yet. Sadly. And no, it didn't drop a... No Hinox guts. Oh, why'd we even bother fighting it? Well, I guess we can take the night stuff now, but uh, we are just going to stash it until we acquire the rank. So that fight wasn't completely pointless. 
Once we save all the travelers and upgrade our armor, then we can use night stuff. Ah. <laughs> it's okay. Well, Lionel will get us stuff. This shouldn't be too bad. Um, advanced enough of killing these guys. I'm not sure what the odds of getting guts are from blue Hinoxes, but I'm I'm sure it's not 100%. Well, clearly, <laughs> it could be like 40%, like a lot of other blue enemies and their guts. Oh, a little edge. Cool. Um. Okay. Oh, I saw the Lionel. It is uh just the blue Lionel. We can take him on. No problem. Bring it on. Oh, no, not like that. Uh, no. How? Fine. Do your worst. We've trained for this. Even if the goblins are a lot weaker, it's still the battle experience that we needed. Charge. Oh. Get my shield there. Not nice. Okay. Just crack it on him. Now we just gotta use back strats. Still got some time. Alright. Not awful. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm using too many bow hits. <laughs> this way he doesn't drain durability on his back. So, that's why we're using the strategy. Okay. Maybe six more rounds should do the trick. Spin the camera, because it's funny. Oh, what? <laughs> Not fair. I mean, well, it's pretty fair. You just got out of the way from my shot. You're allowed to dodge. I just don't like it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Snappy. It'd be as fast as possible because this bow doesn't have fast draw. Nope. Shoot the fireball. I really hope this guy drops a gut. Because it's not guaranteed for blue Lionels. Keep going. Nice. <laughs> it's still so slow. It's like a raid boss, I swear. <laughs> Should have like a party of four taking this guy on with this much health. <laughs> Oh, badly damaged crap. <laughs> I think we can still do it mostly in the time limit. Someone just keeps wailing on my doorbell. I don't... What the hell? One second. I don't like answering the door.
all that. Um, Amazon person. So, I don't know. Usually when you get an Amazon package, they, uh, you know, put it at your doorstep and ring the doorbell and leave. And that's why I didn't answer the first doorbell, because it's usually a package. And then I hear it a second time, and then a third time, and then a fourth time. And I'm just like, what the hell? I literally got it, and the Amazon person just handed me the package. It's like, it, it was never like, it was just like a small thing. Like, it's, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sure, that's, there's my, are they back at my doorbell? What the hell? What is going on? You got it? My, girl, my girlfriend's taking care of it now, so I'm, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. <laughs> no, yeah, I, like, usually when someone answers or rings the doorbell, it's because of a package, so it's like I don't answer, I just like, oh, I mean, unless I'm getting the package, because usually my girlfriend gets it, uh, if I'm streaming, so. Live to the rescue, yes. <laughs> I'm just like, usually it's a, it's a package. I'm like, why do you keep ringing my doorbell? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, maybe very faintly. Uh, it's like, eh, kind of thing. Double package. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Okay. Uh, Amazon's secretly working for Ganon. They're just going to trip me up. I'm just going to lose my footing completely and uh, just we're screwed. So. Uh oh. Oh, that's the last one. Okay. <laughs> Crap. And I don't get any more free hits, so, uh... <laughs> We're gonna rely on bombs to finish them. There we go. <laughs> Whittle them down. No durability. Yeah, why not? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Screw it. I don't feel like wasting any more weapons. There we go. Two. He's not gonna regen. Well, it'll take a while to regen, so... <laughs> Kinda happy for that fact. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh, that works too. Another one? Sure. Oh! That was really high up. What? Where do you get those skills from, Lionel? And again? Oh, nope. That's fine. <laughs> wow, he did like a power jump there. Was that the Mario backflip or whatever? <laughs> Oh, don't want to burn up. I am half wood in here. My weapons are, at least. There we go. Finish it off with the flurry. We can do that. How many? Two? Three! Oh, wait. No, not quite. You know, bombs work just fine. Nope. No more jump. Oh, I thought he was going to die in the jump. Crap. Hmm. Bomb, do your thing. Charge! Oh no! <laughs> Crap, you wasn't supposed to regen. That wasn't part of the plan. Ah. <laughs> Bomb Lionels, not the best. Nice, hit him. <laughs> yeah. I blame the postman for this one. We wouldn't be in this boat. There we go. Nope, just let, let it run its course. There we go. Oh no! My shield! Rubbish! Ah! Damn it. We have to get another shield now. 
Oh, do not bow me. Bow to hell, man. Ugh. Well, I guess this way we can actually do the fights with more uh, integrity. That was awful. That was so bad. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, we can do it actually smarter this time without breaking our crap. Literally, so just crusty. <laughs> I don't have any other wards than that. Here. No patience. Little stamina. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. It's okay. We can do it again. It'll just take a minute. Stupid Amazon. <laughs> Man. I blame Amazon, Amazon too. Okay, don't bow me this time. Hey, 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 hey. What gave you the right? What gave you the right? <laughs> Stop. Fair fight. Updated death counter. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> that was a death. So, you know, naturally. Okay. No, don't miss a shot this time. We only missed one. For those looking for the objective panels in uh, the description, if you can't find that on mobile, it's in the, uh, the about section. Also, sorry, I... Yeah. Click on my profile, click about. I wish Twitch made it easier, but they don't. Okay. Wait, what actually are the odds of a Lionel dropping their gut? I don't know. I feel like I should look that up beforehand. Because, like, the White Lionels, I know, are... I'm pretty sure are 100% chance. And they only have, like, a thousand more health. But I know that there's not going to be a lot of them right now. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard altogether. Okay. Let's be perfect this time, on point. And just, and just go for it. Don't pull out your bow this time. There we go. See? This is better. I approve. <sighs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. That is totally fine. And expected. It's fine. Okay, just... Do the rest of this like this. Okay, got to be more accurate. On point. That's two volleys. Let's say it takes like 15. I don't know. Damn it, now I'm missing everything. You backed up just to do what? Just to regen, okay. <laughs> Man, okay. Get all this funky loop we're in. Bananas, we need to save those. Don't just hurt the bananas. Okay, I keep missing it now because I'm... I'm going to look up something. Realistically, what is the merit of doing this if it's not going to guarantee drop us apart? I'm going to look up the drop tables. Uh, one second. That's going to be on my end, so I apologize. Uh, 
I have a link in my Discord server under the resources area. Uh, all enemy loot drops. There we go. Uh, gonna look up a blue Lionel. Never mind, Lionel. Uh, where are you? Silver Lionel? No. One moment. I'm looking. These aren't organized like super well. One moment. Lionel middle. It's a 60% chance uh, ish. Ah. I don't like those odds. I don't have to kill an entire blue Lionel only for a 60% chance of getting a gut. Um, you know, I'm just going to take this as a learning experience and. Uh, <laughs> We're just going to kill the, uh, yeah, we're going to find white Lionels to kill. Sorry. Because if it's Guts I'm after, it's not worth it. But while we are here, there is actually a bow nearby we can grab. So that makes it better. It's actually going to be like uh, around here. Sorry, I know it's kind of a not nice situation to be in. I know we used an attack up for that. Oh well. That was a good warm up, yeah. I don't want to fall into another Hinox boat where we. Chew up a lot of weapons and such for nothing in return. Because if you don't get a guff from a Lionel, it's useless. Banana gem, yeah. <laughs> On its own rock. That's not useless. Ooh, a lot of skeletons. A lot of bows, too. Okay, this is what I think I need. For the loot to get it. All right. Shock arrows. And arrows. And. Oh, <laughs> that arrow too. No, thank you. And lightning, no thank you. That's what I need. Give me that. No, not quite. <laughs> I think it's that one, actually. Nope. Uh, right into it. Very, very awesome. What? My Kronos pillar's like sideways. I don't know what quite happened there. That's fine. That's what I need, right? Give me my soldier weapon. No, not you. POV, you don't know where the soldier weapon is. Is it not here? <laughs> oh, it's not here. It's it's below it. My bad. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we got a lot of fun arrows. Okay. <laughs> Retreating. Oh, wait, that's not metal. Hell yeah. Cool. Soldier stuff's like wooden. <laughs> Forgot about that. Down here it is. Oh, and that platform's about to get blasted. Nice. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for exactly? I think it's this one. Oh, <laughs> I thunder. Not quite. No, no. But it is a cool one. You keep blowing that. Yeah, as long as you're not shooting me, I'll, you can do whatever you want. 
I'm not that either. Damn it. Maybe it's in the water itself. It is in the water itself, I believe. Yeah. Aha. Oh. Not too hot. Can't give that one credit. If he misses me, it's even... Oh, okay, good. There we go. Get that one. It's very dangerous, but... Soldier's bow, yeah! <laughs> Important. Uh-oh. Ow. There we go. We, well, we finally have another one at the very least, so... Gotta be happy with that. Okay. And then just over here, too, there's some more uh, goodies that will be good. One second. And also the the traveler people we got to get to, which we can do that. Easily. Okay. Yep, <laughs> I choose. We don't need you anymore. It's nice that the metal armor doesn't attract lightning. It's it's funny. Because <laughs> for that, only the weapons apply. Armor is just whatever. <laughs> so thank you. Also, my green screen quarter still in the way. There we go. <laughs> it gets like that. It really does. And somewhere over here is where uh, some more travelers are. Already perished. Oh, let's go, you filth. Oh, that's a silver. Yep, already perished. Okay. Well, in that case, load that save right there. Because silver ones are pretty difficult to deal with. Hello. <laughs> Just kite him on over. Well, that guy's got a sword, too. Well, he can't help fight, but... We have a better solution here. What's better than, uh... Take advantage of the terrain. Oh. Is that not water? I, I thought it was... There's the water. It's pretty far. Ah! <laughs> Double parry! Nice! That was good. Nice, okay. I don't think those guys are coming back anytime soon. Wait. I still want to take care of you guys if I can. If I may. Sorry, gotta be polite. Oh, they just vanished into a wall. Cool. Good to know. Oh, wait. Was it you? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. How are the travelers doing? Uh, or traveler. Ty? Can't stand constantly being driven off this way. Well, I guess it's just you then. I'm not sure what happened to your friend. Uh. But if he's gone, he's gone. <laughs> Here. You keep following. How about that? I don't want to use up all my weapon durability. I have to say that for Hinoxes and whatnot. Ugh. Okay, keep going. <laughs> oh. No, you got it. You got this. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. There we go. Keep going? Yep. Don't even give him a chance. What the? 
Nope. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really just fumbling here. I, I mean, so is the Bacoblin, but there we go. Slide right into him. <laughs> A strike. There we go. He tried to kick back into me. This isn't soccer. I just want to kick him into the water. <laughs> Is there any closer water? There is not. How about this? How do you fare with electricity? Not too hot. Okay. That's what I figured. But that literally does not help me at all. Come on. <laughs> Go into the water. Die or something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this is such a waste. <laughs> Water, please. I really don't like this. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna steal this guy's loot. Let's hope it was all worth something in the end. Because this is a pain. <laughs> Arrows, flint. <laughs> well, we actually do have a use for the flint later. Just not now. Oh, hi, Bacoblin. Hey. I'm just gonna sneak strike him. There we go. We do this long enough. Ow! Oh! What? <laughs> ah! Didn't like that. Okay. We do this for like a second, then he gets distracted, and then one more. I guess not this time, though. These trees are special. <laughs> Usually this works a lot better. Okay. <sighs> you know, we're just going to save. And load. That'd be a lot better. Which enemies had the fastest regen? I don't remember the exact stats for all of them, but I'm pretty sure it's the main three at the fastest. I know we had to reload that encounter. It's fine, it just happens. Oh, he killed him. There we go. Double sneak strike. Ah. Reload. Damn it. What is an efficient way of doing this? A silver's too hard to take on. I don't know where he went last time, but. Oh, there was two travelers this whole time. Oh, right. I, I knew that. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm like zipping around mentally. Okay. So the goal is to distract them both. Get them to go far. And then what? <laughs> hey, hey. As long as it keeps blocking, we'll be we'll be okay. There we go. Sneak strike, chain him. That guy can deal with the other. Boom. There we go. I don't care if we get hit. Keep going. Again. Oh, come on. He ruined the chain. Ah. Because <laughs> I have too much health for our stuff. Damn it. This is a nauseating encounter, <laughs> to say the least. Also, welcome everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really trying to overcome this. In a way where we actually get to keep our weapons.
Okay, let's do this once more. Uh, closest water is... Which is not very close. <laughs> A parry, I, uh... It's not gonna do too much. <laughs> Can't disarm these guys. Best bet's literally just kicking them in the water. What the? Oh, here we are. Okay. Oh! Yeesh! Thanks, Fairy. <laughs> Wait. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. We can deal with one. Lure him. Oh, he's reaching his max. Yep, just like that. And then down the hill. Like that. Okay. Water's getting pretty close now. Yes, okay. That's kind of the opposite way, but as long as we hit him. It's in the ballpark of uh, where he needs to be eventually. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Come on. So close. Come on, just get over. Oh, wait. Oh, bombs work now. There we go. Blow him back. Yes! Water shot. Awesome. Sorry, gems. Ah, that was a sapphire, too. Wow, that was really something. <laughs> something not nice. Nope. <laughs> we got the chest stuff. Uh, I just need to get out of here. That's a night weapon crap. <laughs> okay. Hopefully the Pacabo didn't kill everyone else. I don't even see anyone else. <laughs> Maybe they ran. Okay. Last guy, we're just going to use uh, some shock therapy. Just, uh, I don't know. Or whatever. Damn it. I don't know what it's called. Just come to a shocking conclusion. Yes. <laughs> Should focus on the best way to do this. Okay. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was really, like, worried for a second that, uh, they would be knocked out. It's a miracle I stepped in. Tough luck, sir. Thank you, Ty. No place in Hyrule. Saved. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're on the other side of the jungle. We found them again. They're making their way eastwards with us, too. <laughs> but there we go. That is pack five. That was just, uh, <laughs> that packed quite the punch this time. Next thing's next. Uh, there is actually a, a shield nearby. I'm going to nab that. No? <laughs> I think he's a little too far. You know, let's, let's nab the weapon and then uh, warp back to the stable. And his NPCs aren't needy. It's okay. We're here to help. I think it's on one of these platforms. I, I don't remember, though. Whoop. Okay. Ah! What the? <laughs> that was more than I expected. Okay, uh... <laughs> I, I guess they're just gonna burn themselves, so that's fine. These guys don't deserve their fire arrows. Oh! Yeesh. Fire meets water helps us. Ow. Okay, uh, let's go eat the meat. Ooh. 
And a gun? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Wait. Oh, my God. I lit the arrow. <laughs> that was passing by. On his fire. That, that was very, actually, unintentionally cool. But I'll take the credit for it. Oh! What? I mean, I'll take the credit for that. I, I just backwards parried the Octorok. <laughs> very awesome. Okay. Yay. <laughs> I will take these balloons. They came in handy before. I'm not sure which one's uh, the soldier gear, but we'll just take all these chests. If we can. Take that. Ooh, wow. Okay, so we're going to get really good loot then. I'm for that. Jungle loot is nice. Tiered well to our stage in the adventure. Besides that, maybe. Whoop! Sorry. <laughs> Did a little dance there. Flints again. So these flint chests. Let's get that chest. I'm not sure what's on there. Opal. Money. Okay, so I believe it might be these done. Guts is good. Good guts. Uh. Yeah. I just realized I forgot the antenna war point, but that's fine. <laughs> Wait, actually, I don't want to do that. Or do I? Can we make it on there organically? I think we actually can. No, what? <laughs> Where'd I get that from? Or oh, wait a second. If we put this under the chest. Yeah, if we put that under the chest and then break the platform. Not like that. Uh. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, we're still going to be going for a bit more. Still a few more things I want to do in this stream. That's directly under, I think. Uh, it didn't work quite the way I wanted. I guess that was there. Yeah. Rolls back up. Oh, yeah. Sure. We're pretending it's fine. Aha. Ruby. Not quite. I think it's actually this thing. <laughs> Getting everything but. But the money's gonna be nice. And that is... No. <laughs> I just know the loot's around here. Approximations. Oh, it's that thing. Okay. <laughs> of course. But we got all that nice loot. So, arrows and money. What more can I ask for? I mean, besides weapons. There we go. Another shield. <laughs> That'll be just nice to have in case we break it. Okay. I'm going to go back to here so we can get our horse. Uh, there's one more travel over here so we can get him. And then that unlocks even more. So I'll be back personally. Just probably the last bathroom break of the stream. Uh, let's go with it. <laughs> Piggy. Piggy there. Okay. We'll be right back. I'm going to just do that. Give me a minute. Thank you.
Okay, I'm back. Piggy. <laughs> Whoa. The last game, I, I just downloaded this. I don't know what it is. It was like on sale. So <laughs> if, if it's on a good sale, it's like it, it'll be in my backlog. So, <laughs> but Tunic's very fun. Short Hike's fun. Little Gator Game's fun. So, <laughs> and Donkey Kong's very fun. I got that recently too. Uh, let me fix my green screen. I don't know why I keep shifting. I literally keep moving it more to the left. It has a mind of its own, apparently. Okay. There we go. Um, so last bit of business in this side. Oh my God, my green screen corner. What the hell? Man, I'm so... Is it zoomed in further? I don't know. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, anyways. All we gotta do is make our way east to save one more traveler. And that actually opens up a couple other things we can do. Because the next guy's pretty special. Uh, he's not like the other travelers in the world. It'll just be a straight dash to him. He's kind of by Lurlin, so. <laughs> Green screen acting like a needy NPC today. <laughs> Damn right. Think of anything else we need here. I don't think so. We're doing pretty good on like finances too. I think the last major thing we do before we advance to the night stuff will be uh well just killing all the Lionels. But that'll be better once we get an easier source of weapons, which will also come up soon too. Especially with the Coliseum too. Because that'll be our next stop after uh we save this next traveler. He's just like over here ish. 30 second hike. <laughs> hmm. And yeah, so that guy, Coliseum. So I'll probably wrap it up pretty soon. But considering a lot of it was just getting started the horse armor, our armor, uh, yeah. Oh, there he is. But it's abandoned cart. Come on. We can do this. Not our first joust. Oh, okay. He's got a good lunge to counter. Oh, that traveler's not going to help out. It's okay. Charge. Yeah. Keep spinning. Get closer. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Get mad? You, oh, yeah. Actually, that anger is paying off very well for you. Okay. No more anger. Yeah, there we go. Shut up. <laughs> you don't deserve to live. Ah. You know, fine. It's raining. We're going to take advantage of it. Stop being so annoying. There we go. Is that all it takes? The rain has stunted us enough. <laughs> Oh, bye-bye already. Okay, nice. And you are... Never seen anyone take down one of those things. Who are you? Thanks, Reagan. Electro fried egg? Hell yeah! <laughs> zap zap egg. <laughs> oh. It's Pikachu's egg. Right away from Lulin, just up the road. The whole place stinks of cut up bait and fish guts. No life for you. You're going to make a living as a scavenger, fishing around Hyrule's rubble for neat stuff. Uh, Not much of a choice. You can't swim. <gasps> All right, Regan. Well, the cool thing about him is actually, uh, now that we saved him from this encounter, he actually sticks with his ward and is going to scavenge around Hyrule. So now we can find him as a traveler around Hyrule. And uh, there's going to be two other locations where we got to save him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's still not competent in the fighting. 
We can actually do that right away because it's pretty close. So let me save right there. Because he actually hangs out around uh, the Coliseum. So we can go there. Six out of 21. Ugh. Okay. Master mode, horse steps. Good to know, but we're okay. <laughs> Thanks to all these challenges, you've been having an easier time with the game. Now that you know where the weapons are, glad to help. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's get a horse. <laughs> Get him back, and then we just have to go up the road. Then he won't be very far at all. Take horse. Joust. Got a new job, so you're going to have a lot of money to get the game, pre-order the game right away when it's out. Awesome. <laughs> get to play it on release is the best feeling. We can just go up this road from the stable here. Expecting it to rain, of course. No umbrella. Oh! And look who it is again! Right again! <laughs> what are you doing? It's funny, because he wouldn't be here if we didn't save him before. <laughs> I mean, did we really save him if we didn't learn his lesson? <laughs> you tell me, but uh... <laughs> hey, at least it's still raining here, so... Ah, oh, come on. If only that horse hit him. Yeah. Do you have more food for me, Reagan? <laughs> An ancient screw. <laughs> oh, I guess he was scavenging. Needing someone to bail me again. He doesn't even recognize it's me. Okay. There's our seventh, a third of them saved, which isn't too bad. But now, uh, I think it's time to save some of our honor with uh, a nice challenge up ahead, which is the Coliseum. You can barely see it, but it'll be a nice next thing to tackle. Whoosh, over here. Yeah, he really screwed me there. <laughs> yeah. Reagan. Yeah. Jost really is looking handsome. Yeah, he is. Yeah. But also, with all this killing that we've just been doing, there's no way we can truly show off our skill without going to, uh... Well, the Coliseum itself. Oh, and a shooting star there, just pointing us the way. It knows we need to be here. Because here, it's going to be a lot of enemies, but more importantly, a lot of weapons from our fallen kind. So, I think this will be pretty helpful. You know, now that I have more weapons, I I don't feel bad on taking down this Lionel now. We do need its guts, and it's only 60% chance of dropping the gut, but I'm feeling lucky. Oh. Ow! Touche. We're going to eat a nice potion here. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Beam him down. I got it this time. 
Woo! All right. <laughs> See how many it takes. Uh oh, don't like that one. Okay, just after three, it's gonna have that much taken out. Every round's like 150 damage into it, minus the bow shot. Nice. Okay. Like you're not chewing out my shield or anything good. It's adequate damage at best. Uh oh. Yep, I knew we were gonna need another shield soon. You missed. Oh, and I missed too. Aha. Uh -huh. Damn it, okay. Ooh, okay, good. Gotta get him to half soon. It's an intense fight. Just elongated. Yes, okay. Almost there. Doesn't help that you just have so much health. Really? I guess we messed up. I don't like having to do that. There we go. Halfway for sure. Ish. For sure ish. <laughs> there we go. I'm so happy with the attack up. It would be so slow without it. go a few more runs and then we can go around to those guys probably easy stealth strike and uh take their weapons kill them for the loot nice <laughs> come on we got this but don't give up so fast I just realized that it would be so much more helpful to have the night armor to fight these the future Lionels, but I just want to be able to speed up the future fights. Ow. Yeah, I don't want him to regen, so we're gonna give him a few whacks that way. War of Attrition, I know. Also, my green screen keeps failing me. One second. I don't know why it keeps... I, I guess... I don't know. The stand is dying. It's wobbling in just every bad direction. <clears throat> oh my god, what? Green screen. Stop. Okay. It's like a vengeful ghost out for me, moving my green screen. There we go. Like two more, please. Two more goods. We got this. Please drop a gut at the very least. It's useless without the gut. Fighting Lionel and green screen. Yes. Okay. There we go. Oh, just a headshot. Please, the gut. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We need that for the upgrade. And hoofs too, technically. So. Oop. Not the Lionel shield. Well, there we go. I'm going to look up exactly what it is for the soldier thing, because I just want to make sure we got that right. 
moving forward. Uh, okay. <laughs> the problem moving forward is that uh, for the tier 4 upgrade, we need 2 Lionel Hoofs and 2 Lionel Guts per part. So that means in total we need 6 Lionel Guts? That's a lot to do. 5 more Lionels and... We'll have to do all white Lionels to guarantee that we get the stuff. Which only has a thousand more health, but still. I kind of wish I just allowed myself to use knight armor for... Or knight stuff just for the Lionels, but... That'd be bending the rules. But if we just, you know, swarm this in a call later... Or if we get an attack up Soldier's Claymore... That could be very helpful for it later. I should save, yeah. Thank you, Mike C. Duke, for the gifted sub. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll figure out more Lionel stuff next stream, because that'll be, like, later in the challenge. I just wanted to at least do one right away, you know? But now for these weapons. Yep, these guys are going to have a lot of equipment. This is what I've been waiting for. Aha! This may actually be the best spot in the world to get this stuff, wait. Nope. Doesn't work like that, though. Okay. Let's lose this guy. If we can stealth strike them all, then it's perfect. Start with this layer. Oh, yeah. A knight coming in on the Coliseum. Let's take back his own weapons. Alright. <laughs> we can do this. There we go. We hit at the end. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh oh. What? Yucky. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Ooh. And we a good way of getting money and these weapons, honestly. <laughs> are we trying to find loose weapons in the world? This is so much better. Also, my green screen is uh so stupid. I, I don't understand what's going on. Like, I really don't. Okay, it's here. So we're going to move it this way. What? Is my camera zoom on a different setting or something? My chair isn't back. I, I don't understand. <laughs> like, I, I wish I did. Okay. We just tucked it really close to me, so. Oh my god, I don't understand. What's with my green screen? Like, what is going on? Did it sag? I guess it fell down, so the archers are coming in. Which is weird, because it's taped, but oh well. Okay. No more battle. Battling is stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways. We just have to keep slinging around, get some weapons. Here, yes. And yeah, if the blood moon happens, we could technically go back to. For another claymore already? Yeah. <laughs> I will take it. I could just use shock, but I'm doing it this way because getting the gems will be good for the fairy fountains later. There we go. Keep it up. <laughs> and... A go-go? This way. 
uses durability, but we get the weapon, so it's worth it. <laughs> there we go. Take the weapon. Ooh, banana gems and sapphire. Banana blueberry. And we still have, like, spots for the night stuff for later. <gasps> Floor 10 flashbacks. Yeah, trial of the sword. Having a sneak strike chain. Oh, so yeah, tomorrow we're going live same, same time. So, just so you all know. Actually, I don't really want the spears. Spears are kind of worthless. But I guess we'll kill them because we're already doing it. But in the future, no. Keep going. Just a few more. Corticals don't stack, sadly. Oh, this one again. Yes. There we go. And one more. Perfect. <laughs> Spinning spear. Ooh, more blueberries and bananas. A fruit salad. I love that. Blueberry gem. Mm. That's a pecoblin. Oh, that's the horse. <laughs> I joust. What's, what's that guy have? Well, that's the broadsword, okay. <laughs> that's what I wanted, actually. Is that the only one we can carry? No, we can carry a few more, technically. It's the broadswords are what I need, so. Boop, <laughs> nice. What? No! Crap. We messed up. Okay, just drop your stuff. There we go. <laughs> On to the next one. It's fine. Okay, now the moblins. Assuming they didn't just hear that whistle sprint. They did. Okay. Oh, it's just a spear one. I don't want a spear anyways. But we do have to dodge it because it's dangerous. <laughs> Uh oh, oh, that was too close. Oh, the next one has her back to us. Very good. And more perfect looting up ahead. This is honestly so nice. Because then we'll have plenty of weapons for saving the travelers and taking down the bosses. go yes <laughs> he's got very bad posture what is he doing body's all snaked around oh uh oh <laughs> not good a little too early to start that phase in the fight so I guess oh yeah fall damage helps <laughs> quite a lot actually yeah, that, that actually does help quite a bit. Okay. Makes me feel less guilty about that. Yeah. We'll just finish him off. No pain in that. And then for the rest, I, I guess... Uh... Ooh, okay. Quick flurry jabs. I know we're using up the stuff, but I feel less guilty because it's literally just replenishing. Aha! Strawberry blueberry. Okay, um... It would be helpful to get those last few moblins, though. <laughs> Wait, horse. Horse just really wanted to come with. But in the rain, it's gonna be a hard climb. You know, we can always come back after a blood moon, so... Not a bad idea. In the meantime, this is a pretty good selection of weapons. I mean, minus the night stuff we can't use. Uh, 
But still very good. That guy. It's okay. You can cower. <laughs> hey. Um. Yeah, so in terms of travelers nearby, there are... Uh, I'll look at exactly what's going on. I before I do something stupid, which is inevitable. Um, so I know Reagan's also by here again, the one NPC. There's actually two packs of NPC nearby. Yeah, we could charge those. Uh, and then there's also another Hinox. Oh, yeah, actually, for like a last gambit today, there's a few things we can do. Quite a few travelers, a Hinox, uh, this... You know, we have the weapons. All right. <laughs> well, Joust. After a bunch of killing, uh... Well, let's kill more things, uh... But we'll save people while doing it. The nice thing about Central Hyrule and all the danger... Is that there's a lot of people running from the danger. So... Including you guys. Let's go, you filth. Yeah, come on here. Attack him. Oh. Gel strats always work. There we go. Nope. He can yell. Oh, okay. If you think you're going to attack my horse like that, I won't allow it. No. Okay. You attack him, guy in the back. Get him! Hit him! You got this! Don't back up! They're fr- Ah! Rubbish. Didn't work the way I wanted it to, but... Spin to wins always do anyways. Come on. We've worked way up to heavy weapons. Use them well now. There we go. Shock orb. Yes. And then slam. Yes. Okay. And oh, you trying to slam me. <laughs> Can't repeat the same strategy you just learned. So I already have a backup. <laughs> there we go. Where are you guys? Oh, it's Mills and Mina again. From outside the plateau. Still trying to treasure on, huh? <laughs> well, thank you for the mushy stuff. Okay. It's funny because there's a lot of different uh, traveler groups in the world, but realistically, it's like the same few groups that keep getting stuck in trouble. It really goes to show there's not a lot of people left in this world. The ones that are trying to pursue something outside are just getting swarmed. <laughs> like this guy again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Regan. Again, he never learns. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shut him down too fast. Yep. Got nothing to pay me back. B but pocket lint? Oh, and this. <gasps> Bread! Wait, no, that's an excellent reward. Wow. My favorite type of ration. This will save us for the entire run. Oh, yes. Well, thank you for that, Regan. You have struck gold for us. One man's trash is another man's gold. And now we have the hearty confidence we need. <laughs> Bread is awesome. Bread is all we needed. Oh. I see Joust doesn't have a lust for power <laughs> anymore against the animals. But now there's, yeah. <laughs> Even more on the other side of Hyrule Field, there's like two more travelers right away we can hit. And the Hinox. It'll be very good. <clears throat> okay. Keep going this way. Yeah. Gatepost Helm Ruins. 
Okay, yeah, because I know a lot of them are bridges, these travelers. In terms... Well, by a lot, I mean like three of them. Yeah. So we can do that. How about final objective for today is save three more travelers. We'll get to 12. And we'll also kill Hinox in the process. I think that'll be a good objective. Okay, keep going this way. Each of the travelers are by stables, so it shouldn't be too bad. Sing the bread song. Oh, bread. We like bread. Bread. <laughs> no. Okay. Bread song. If you could tell, I, I was a choir kid in school. Uh, for sure. Where? Oh, bridge. Okay. Oh, Boko camp. <laughs> Horsey slaughter. Okay, is it this bridge or the next one? I don't remember. I think it's the next one. Okay. It's one or the other. We got a lot of Bokos there. Not a problem. Okay. Where are the others? Here they are. Is that it? I I, I think I saw in the distance. <laughs> they should be. Oh, I see a goblin. And he already knocked him out. Come on, <laughs> not even chance to react. Well, looks like we got to save and reload. <laughs> Choir gang rise up. <laughs> Excellent singing. Knocked out already? What? We just reload the save. <laughs> I don't get this. Why do they stay knocked out? <laughs> Are they just always knocked out? <laughs> Wow, just happens that quick, huh? Yeah, you can really get knocked out that quick on this bridge. <laughs> um, I, I guess so. Maybe it was that, okay. They got a sniper just staring at the coastline of the bridge. Wow. What an event. Also... Props to a blue Lizzle for one-shotting me, I guess. Pretty strong. Okay. Do it again. There we go. Oh, kick in the water. It skipped like a rock. Oh, you need to be safe from these guys, too. Okay. I'm looking shot again. You know, these guys are tough. There we go. Better? Hey, Lika. I don't even want to think about where you'd be if I haven't shown up. Yeah, on the ground. <laughs> like you were the last few times. Ooh. Some energy mushrooms. Interesting. When you say something, they just give you mushrooms. <laughs> you don't know what to say, but thank you. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> That's a chic weapon in there. I can't take it. Like it just runs back. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll be traveler number 10. There we go. Almost halfway. Next one is, uh, at a stable further north, but we can actually hit that high knocks beforehand. Is the counter update? Yeah, we updated it, right? To seven? Okay, and I think... Sorry, I need to look at my map, too. 
Hinox, yeah, it's just above the next stable, I think. So. <coughs> So two more travelers will save today and then a Hinox. Yeah. And then having these war points, it'll be helpful for the last bit. Because then there'll be the lesser half of the travelers to save, yeah. the fairy fountains, and then the night stuff. Huh. Which we can do it all. No problem. There is the bridge. I don't remember which one it is. For a lot of these in Hyrule, uh, it's the bridges around like stables. Yeah. Oh, and I saw that Bacoblin in the distance. Huh. Oh, yep, I see a Bacoblin. Huh. Don't attack. Oh, ah. Huh. It's Lika again. Oh, ow! Oh. Yeesh. Wait, yeah, nope. Come on. Stop harassing the same traveler. Oh, wow. This one's vigilant. Nothing that a bomb can't fix. Yeah, that, that almost checks out. No, that does. Okay, in the water. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> nice. Just bonked off the side. Oh. Oh, bee honey. Thanks, Lika. <laughs> Just the raw material this time. Oh, I gotta cook the food myself. Fine, I guess. <laughs> Can't even offer a soldier a warm cooked meal. Darn. Not that I need it, I just eat raw apples anyways. Uh, <laughs> oops. But okay, Lika saved a gun. Yeah, all these charbos kinda have patterns that kinda stick to similar areas or themes. You always find Lika out bridges for some reasons. And uh... Oh, wait. Actually, across the bridge. Uh, the Hinox is this way. But first, I'm actually going to get the shrine. Yeah, yeah might as well get the shrine. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kaya won. Stop helping travelers because they always turn the ego on you. Uh, it's always those like still ones. They have a specific vibe to them. I has to. I think we might have more. Seeds? Yeah. You know, one more weapon. That'll be nice. All right, just in case. Well, from here, we got a Hinox to kill, and then one more Traveler for the day. Yeah. Alright, the Yiga people yeah. also tend to talk to you without your permission. That's true. So another good way of telling the difference. Ha. Oh, there is Lika running. Yeah. Look how sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> Five arms. Yeah, right after this. Okay. So Hinox and then uh, our final travel we'll, we'll save. It shouldn't be too bad though. Where are you, Hinox? Aha! No black one. Save. Yeah, the Yiga ones don't have names. But usually you can't tell that until you initiate the dialogue anyways. Sometimes. Alright. Well, we got this. Hit him more accounts. Uh, not with the bomb. 
Go with that. Oh, wow. A lot of health, really. Spear will be nice. Wait a second, those weapons. Aha, I can use those. Thank you. You're gonna require a lot, though. Yes. Keep going. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're a bold sponge. I don't feel too bad, though, because we, we need to drain the materials. Oh. Shields don't block that. <laughs> that attack transcends shields. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. <laughs> we got this. Prior bow. Bow's ready. Aim. Fire. Yes. <laughs> and then smack it on him. Yeah. Ooh, on the horse, that works perfectly. Wow, actually, not bad. Oh, don't regen that. Hey, that works too. Okay, do some archery combat. Oh, what? What are you blowing up? Wait, what blew up? What is there here to blow up? <laughs> I don't understand what happened. Were you carrying a bomb on you? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, keep going. Nice. Keep going. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Multi combat working wonders. Okay, good. Oh, we can't use that. Go. Nice. <laughs> Those critical hits are so just helpful. That was your last bow. Crap. Well, I guess we're playing it like this. Don't throw the tree at me. What? What do you have that's explosive? Are you pulling out barrels from the ground? He's pulling out barrels from the ground. What? He has explosive barrels at his disposal? I had no idea. Oh, now he's just playing bongos. Okay. Not blowing up the barrels, though. I think they're all gone. Okay. Cut at the knees. Oh, crap. Wait. Badly damaged spear. Stop regen. Damn it. Do, uh, get that bomb away. Get that bomb away from me. Wait. Stop. Hit him. Hit him. Don't step me. Ah. Uh. Wait, it's working. It's working. Just get him. So close. Yes. We chopped down his belly fat. <laughs> And caught him. Wow. That is so wild. I had no idea where those bombs were coming from. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Holy crap. <gasps> wow. What a fight. That was definitely a fight. And I got the spoils now. Awesome. <laughs> and another bow. Woo. <laughs> well, okay. More stuff. Ah. <sighs> It's ending on a high note, but last things last is going to be one more traveler to save. It's just up north a bit. Hey, Gentle Links, thank you so much for the 8,000 bets. <laughs> as you go to wrap up soon, just want to say that this is a fun challenge run. Hope I continue feeling better. Thank you. Now I'm feeling better. I, you know, just have that slight congestion that's going to clear. Also, my chat is literally, <laughs> my chat, I'm not even going to fix it. Like, <laughs> we're wrapping up in like one minute here. <laughs> Or three. But yeah, thank you. This has been really awesome today. So uh, appreciate you guys being here. And uh, yeah, thank you, honestly. Because these runs are always a blast. And I always appreciate what we get to do them. Also, I lied. I'm going to fix the green screen. Uh, yeah, it just, it's really breaking and it keeps sinking. So the rounded edges are appearing in stream. And that's what you're seeing. Okay. Uh, I 
Actually, there's like two right in the row, so I might as well just do those two, you know? Like, uh, no, no, no harm in that. Yeah. Then we'll wrap up at 13 travelers, which is pretty good. Yeah, the, the stupid corner. I, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Something even GameSpot isn't mentioned. <laughs> yeah, I just keep finding those surprising things, but I really appreciate how even the same enemies take advantage of their surroundings in creative ways. Uh, yeah, especially stuff like that. It's like, it makes sense that Hyaks can throw things, so they'll put Hinoxes near, like, you know, forests or, like, piles of logs, but I never noticed, like, the explosive barrels before. And if you never got to that part in the fight, you'll never see it. So it's really cool, honestly. Also, fix my green screen again. I will patch it up for tomorrow. It is breaking on me, so. The stand. Beating Ganon tomorrow, that's the goal. Because we're about halfway in the challenge, because the rest will happen sooner in a way. Okay, I think we're over here. I'm gonna get that shrine kind of all the way, but the last two travelers are here. We might as well do it. Also, I forgot Hestu's here, too. Nice. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Been watching the stream all, all day. You enjoyed it? Thank you. Yeah. No, this is really fun. Got a lot done, too. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Boom. Yeah. Charge. <laughs> Love the charge up animation for this. It looks so cool. Just knights up the ready. <laughs> oh. Speaking of which. Oh. Spear. Cool. <laughs> and they are ready for the knights. So. Yeah. Boom. Not that way. Sorry. I'm trying to find where that bridge was. One second, if you don't mind. Uh, I guess we passed it? Or it wasn't a bridge, actually. It was supposed to be on the path. Do, do we just not look hard enough? I'm going to save load to make sure we get it right. The night horse armor we got from the mini game that's uh, south of the tower, the lake tower. Oh, it's Lika again. What do you know? <laughs> well, actually, yeah, we can do that. Push some more for sure. Oh, <laughs> and a joust jump. That's fine. If you want to be annoying like that, by all means, but you're going in the lake. We're close to it. Wait, that's going to be helpful. Bomb roll, and right to you. Actually, pretty good. <laughs> yes. Roll once more, please. Downhill. That's annoying. Go for it. <laughs> Come on, one more roll. Oh, come on. I know he's in the way. What's going on? Bomb roll, please. Boop. It looks like he's being attacked every time. It's deceiving me. Okay, fine. Nope. 
Drop the bomb in the flurry. Oh, and it gets kicked. A thousand feet away. Cool. Please just finish off the Bacoblin. <laughs> A little too much effort for this guy. Boop. Okay. <laughs> Lake drowned. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> no more saves, Lika. Just be safe. <laughs> Least I can do. Okay. Well, there we go. That'll be number 12. Yeah. Well past half now. And then last traveler just past the stable. Like really like right past it. All right, where are you? I know there's a camp, but it's not that camp. They're like just past that. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, it should be just past that. Wait, is there good stuff at the camp? Hmm. Technically, yeah. I don't know, but... Hello, guys. Wait a second. First detour. <laughs> Soldier weapons. I'll take that. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> just a nice little pit stop. Steal their stuff. We deserve it more. You guys aren't soldiers. There we go. They're in their final battle here. Is it Mills and Mina again? Oh, come on. I don't know catch you out here if you just keep getting into trouble. Ah. There we go. Oh, in the water? Oh, no, it's actually kind of far. That's fine. Just keep petting him on the side. Yeah, sure, in the water. Why not? At this point, might as well. Oh. I said might as well. <laughs> Supposed to follow up with that. Fine. Last hit will be water. Or maybe not. Just your resting bed will be. Oh. Thank you, Orsi, for turning around for me. Go! No. Ow! Wait, actually that hurt. Ow! <laughs> Food, please. Actually, yeah, you do damage again, okay? You got this. No, where are you going? Come on. Me to do something. You're the new breed of soldiers now. You must fight. No. Apparently he can't either. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Follow me, Bacoblin. Tumble down the slide. The slide of infinite demise. <laughs> okay, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> there we go. That should do the trick. And a bombing run for you. Ooh, yep, perfect. Oh, just a nice slide. No skip needed. <laughs> yeah, you guys made it. Now, let me make my reward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do I want this in return? Spicy curry rice? Ooh. That could help with my congestion. Uh, <laughs> thank you. All right, that'll be our 13th traveler out of 21. So in the next stream, which will be tom tomorrow at uh, 12 Eastern, we are going to be getting the last uh, eight travelers. On top of that, we're going to be uh, maxing off the soldier armor by getting the fairy fountains and the last few materials. And then, uh, yeah, for the ending portion, we use night gear to clear off the citadel and the finale. So it'll be very exciting. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, Five and, a, five and a quarter hours, wow. <laughs> Fun stream, though, so thank you. Favorite plant is Croton, so no shame there. All right. 
Well, I'm going to stretch. I'm going to enjoy my night just to chill. And then, yeah, 12 Eastern, we'll be back live tomorrow. And hopefully finish the run. Thanks for a great stream. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, yeah, uh, get some good rest tonight, too, and everything. Hope you guys have a good night, too. Uh, thanks again for being here. Um, and then, yeah, video on this eventually. So thank you, and hope you all have a great rest of your night. Have a good one.